Check one, two, three, four. And we welcome you to the St. Bernard's Halftime Show here at Nettleton. St. Bernard's at the heart of great medicine for more than 120 years. And we sure appreciate our great friends at the great hospital here in Jonesboro, St. Bernard's, for sponsoring the Halftime Show here at the half. It's a very competitive game. It's Paragould 25-23. to Paragould outscored Nettleton. Excuse me. Nettleton actually outscored Paragould 13-12 to in the first quarter of play. The second quarter is when Paragould outscored the Lady Raiders 13 to 10, and your score at half here is Paragould 25, Nettleton 23. Hope that everybody is hearing us okay out there. We, we kind of do a dual broadcast. We live stream to Nettleton Television YouTube page, and at the same time we're on the EAB Sports Network over the radio. I think the radio is, is coming out just fine, but I've been getting significant number of complaints that the sound is bad on the live stream. So if you're out there listening to the live stream and you happen to have my phone number, text me. And um, I, I appreciate my friend Logan Hart says everything sounds good right now. Thank you, Logan. Appreciate you looking out for the people on the live stream for us, sir. Um, and I'm assuming everything is good on the radio as well. I hadn't got any complaints as far as that goes, or other than the normal amount of complaints that I get just from the dumb things I say. In any, in any event, the uh, score, 25-23 to 23 here at half. Individual leaders for Nettleton. It's been the Briley Pena show tonight. She's got 15 points, nine of which came in the first quarter as she just started off extremely hot, and she – Staked the Lady Raiders to a first quarter lead. She has 15 points. She leads all scorers by far. Also for Nettleton, Mackenzie Williams and Kyla Williams, no relation, at least not that I know of. They've both chipped in with four points apiece. As for Paragould, they are led by Shakira Brown with nine points. Kamari Brown has eight points. And then they have four players with two. Those four players are Carson DeFries, Hadley DeFries, Michaela Lambert and Kaylin Lamb. Story of the game here for Nettleton so far is they have really done a good job of clamping down on Carson DeFries. We played them in Paragould, a game that the Lady, Ram, Lady Rams won by two, excuse me, by one. They uh, won with a buzzer beating layup, 53 to 52, but Carson DeFries scored 22 points in that game by my book. 22 points, and the Lady Raiders have held her to just two tonight. So great job defensively by Nettleton. Uh, key game that the Lady Raiders need to win for sure. They've come into this broadcast and we apologize. This is the type of information I would have given in the First National Bank pregame show, but uh, we were having technical difficulties at the time, unable to bring you the pregame show. But Nettleton's coming into this game 15-9, and 4-6 and six in conference. They are in sixth place in the 5A East, two games behind fourth place Paragould with four games to go. So this is a head-to-head -head matchup, and this is one that we need to win for sure. The standings in the 5A East, Jonesboro's number one, Marion number two. Jonesboro's nine and one, Marion seven and two. West Memphis is tied for Marion, actually for second place at seven and two. Paragould, fourth place, six and four. Green County Tech, five and five. They're in fifth place. Nettleton's in sixth place at four and six. And then Batesville and Searcy, they round out the seven and eight spots of the 5A East for the, uh, for the ladies. So I'll tell you what, let's do. Let's take a 60-second break. And when we come back, we will have the second half for you, 25-23, pair of gold at half. Back in 60 seconds with the second half, Raider, Lady Raider basketball on NTV and the EAB Sports Network. Back in 60.
And we welcome you back to Raider Gym. Craig Miller setting up here in the rafters. In the beautiful NEA Baptist broadcast position at Raider Gym. Get better with Baptist. Second half of play just about to get underway. Paragould with a 25 to 23 lead over Nettleton in this key Conference 5A East matchup. Lady Raiders, if they want to make it to state, this is a game we need to win. We're down two games out of that fourth position with four games to go. Tenacious defense by Paragool. Carmen McShan gets the best of them, however. Drives, passes to Demaria Daniels. Back to McShan. McShan from three. It's good. Carmen McShan with a three-pointer leading off the second half, and that three-pointer gives Nettleton a 26-25 lead. Great play by the sophomore. Paragool right back to work, however, and they retake the lead with a Hadley DeFreeze layup. 27 to 26. This is going to go down to the wire, folks. I'm calling it right now. A Dick Clay special. Barn burner coming up tonight. Nettleton and Perigold always is whenever these two tangle in February. Nettleton, they get it into Kyla Williams. Kyla Williams shoots and scores. Six points on the night by Kyla Williams as her sister, Tony, runs the live stream up here with me. Appreciate the Williams sisters showing some Raider pride tonight. Nice play by Kyla, and she gives Nettleton a 28-27 lead. Paragould right back to work. He patiently work it around the three-point perimeter. To Kamari Brown, to Lambert. Lambert, almost a little give-and-go play right there. Now then they get it back out to Brown, to Lambert up top. Good defense by the Lady Raiders as they're in a 2-3 zone. To my untrained eye, that's what it looks like. Paragould now with the ball, and they are working it. They get it inside to Brown. Kamari Brown, post move, no good. McKenzie Williams with the defense. McKenzie Williams with the defensive rebound. Here come the Raiders. Carmen McShan thought about taking the three. Passes to Briley Pena. Briley Pena, far wing, right wing. Now then she's standing on the oval end right in front of the jump circle. Passes to Demaria Daniels, left wing. Demaria Daniels to Mackenzie Williams. The juice to Bradley Pena. Bradley Pena at the top of the key. Drives, gives to Kyla Williams. Kyla Williams to Carmen McShan, top of the key. Now to the juice to Demaria Daniels. Demaria with a little jab step. Drive, misses the running layup. And Paragould gets the rebound. Edelton with a 28-27 lead. 5.30 remaining in the third quarter. They get it into Kamari Brown. Back out to number 12, Hadley DeFreeze. Brown with a mid range jumper. And that gives Paragould the lead. 10 points on the night by Kamari Brown. Paragould with a one point lead, 29 to 28, with 5.11 on the clock here in the third quarter. Carmen McShan to Briley Pena. Briley Pena, the Murray State signee. Passes to Kyla Williams. Pass was a little bit high and off of Kyla's hands, out of bounds, and Paragould will inbound on the far sideline. 4.55 on the clock as they get the ball in. They have a one-point lead over Nettleton, 29 to 28 the score. Paragould now with the ball. Good defense by Carmen McShan as she just almost picks the pocket of the Paragould ball handler and they're going to call a foul on her Carmen McShan's first personal first team foul this half Nettleton only committed five fouls in the first half I don't think they deserved any of those that they got called good clean play by the Lady Raiders Paragould DeFreeze might have got away with a travel right there and fouled us Charge against Nettleton's Demaria Daniels. Second personal, second team foul. Paragold inbounds, and they go back to work offensively. They have a one-point lead over Nettleton, 29-28, 4-19 on the clock. Brown working against the Juice. Good defense by the Juice. She gets the rebound of the missed shot by Brown. And here comes Briley Pena and the Lady Raiders. Pena from three. It's no good off the front of the rim. And DeFreeze gets the rebound. Running and gunning the Lady Rams. They get it inside to Brown. Nice pass by DeFreeze and a good finish by Brown. 
12 points on the night for Kamari Brown. 31 to 28 the score. Paragould with a three point lead. Lady Raiders now with the ball. 3.45 on the clock in the third quarter as Carmen McShann passes to Kyla Williams up top. Right wing to Briley Pena, the great one. Briley Pena. Now she passes to the juice. Mackenzie Williams to Demaria Daniels, the diminutive dynamic Demaria Daniels. Passes into the juice, and the juice has the ball stripped away from her and out of bounds off of Perigold. It'll be Nettleton's ball, the inbound underneath her own goal. Mackenzie Williams had to tie her shoe. And she is ready to inbound underneath the Lady Raider goal. She passes up front, out front to Demaria Daniels, who gets it back into the juice. Three-point attempt. Carmen McShann has it partially blocked by Kamari Brown. Perigold gets the ball. They're driving. They miss the layup. However, they're going to call Carmen McShann for the foul. The correction, they're going to call a foul on Demaria Daniels. Third personal against Demaria. And at the line will be Hadley DeFries. She'll be shooting two. Akira James getting ready to enter the game for Nettleton. Hadley DeFries' first free throw is good. She has five points on the night. She gives Perigold a 32 to 28 lead. Second free throw is good from Hadley DeFries, and that makes the score 33 to 28. Perigold now with some full court pressure. See if Nettleton can defeat it. And they have no problem getting it across the half court line as Coach Tate called the dogs off pretty quickly on that full court pressure. Akira James now being hassled, being hassled by Carson DeFries, and the referee. Whistles, that's five seconds. Coach Jason Smith did not agree with that call one bit. But it's a turnover, and Paragould will inbound. With 2.56 remaining in the third quarter, Paragould has a 33-28 to lead. They have the ball. They get it to Lambert in the middle to Kamari Brown. What a night Kamari Brown has had for Paragould. That's two more points for her. Six in the third quarter, 14 points on the night, and with that layup, she gives Perigold a 35 to 28 lead as Coach Jason Smith elects to call a timeout. I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll just keep it here during the timeout and let you know that that last drive, even though it was by a lady rim, Kamari Brown, her 14th point constitutes the Kavanaugh Auto Group drive of the night as she drove in and made the layup. Kavanaugh Auto Group, we appreciate them sponsoring this broadcast of Lady Raider Basketball on NTV. To check out their complete inventory from the comfort of your home, just log on to KavanaughCars.com. That's KavanaughCars.com, and we appreciate our great friends at Kavanaugh Auto Group for sponsoring Lady Raider Basketball on NTV and the EAB Sports Network. Having a little trouble with the scoreboard down there and they're uh, requesting an official's timeout to figure out how to uh, fix it. As I'm not going to say his name because I don't want to embarrass Coach Josh Wright. Oh my gosh. But Forgive me, but Coach Josh Wright running the scoreboard and I, he's, I believe it may be the first time that Coach Wright has run the scoreboard in the game. So it, he, put, he just put 60 seconds back up. Accidentally, I know, Coach Wright the assistant principal at the Nettleton Junior High School. Outstanding young man that uh, struggling a little bit with the score. They're having a good laugh down there about it. The referee's laughing, clapping his hands. Fun at the old ball game tonight. They'll get it figured out. And Coach Wright saying, all I know to do is just let the clock run out. That's all I know to do. And so it went from 60 seconds. Now then it's at 4, 3, 2, 1. And we should be ready for action. We are. 2.40 remaining in the third quarter. Paragould with a 35 to 28 lead with a 30-second timeout that turned into a 90-second timeout due to a little uh, equipment error. I'll call it equipment, not user error, in honor of Josh Wright. Carmen McShann drives and is fouled. Hadley DeFries, third personal. 
first team foul against Paragould, and Nettleton will inbound from underneath their own goal. They get it to Akira James, to Briley Pena. Briley Pena, long range three off the front of the rim, no good. And DeFries gets the rebound. Hadley DeFries has the ball stolen. Carmen McShannon and Akira James. Akira wound up with it, and Akira is whistled for the double dribble. Coach Smith taking issue with that call. Did not see it the way the officials did, but the officials called it a double dribble, and they are the ones with the authority. So that's a turnover, and Paragould with the ball. They get it in to Shakira Brown, to Carson DeFries, back to Shakira Brown. Two DeFrieses, two Browns out there, and one Lambert. They get it into Lambert in the paint. She misses. Good defense there by Kyla Williams. And they whistle a foul. I believe it's going to be on Paragool. Yep, it's going to be on Lambert. That's her first personal. The second team foul for the Lady Rams. It comes with 158 remaining in the third quarter. Paragool with a seven-point lead. Nettleton led by one at the end of the first quarter. Paragool flipped the script, took a two-point lead into the halftime intermission. And now then with 150 remaining in the third quarter, it's 35 to 28. Paragool with a seven-point lead. Nettleton with the ball, however, chance to slice into that lead. They get it to the juice. The juice from underneath. She puts the ball in the old peach basket. Six points on the night for the awesome sophomore, Mackenzie Williams. The juice and Paragool just dribbled the ball out of bounds off their own foot. So Nettleton will get the ball. Uncle Mo. Switching sides all of a sudden. Nettleton, with, they're trailing by five with 1.30 to play in the third quarter. But like I said, momentum on their side, and they're going to call another foul on Paragool. That's Carson DeFries, her second personal. Team foul number three. Nettleton with the ball across the timeline to Maria Daniels to... Kyla Williams, Kyla to Carmen McShan. McShan, high pass corralled by Briley Pena. Lady Raiders still working their offense. Briley Pena invi inviting Brown out. Little isolation play, and she passes to Kyla Williams. Back to Briley Pena. Briley Pena fakes, drives, shoots, misses. Kamari Brown with the rebound. 50 seconds on the clock. Paragould with a five-point lead. Paragould with the ball. Carson DeFries, left wing to Kamari wing up. Kamari Brown up top. Back to Kamari. She passes back to Hadley DeFries. Correction to Shakira Brown. And then to Hadley DeFries. Hadley DeFries to Carson DeFries. Carson DeFries to Hadley DeFries on the left wing. She dribbles around the perimeter, passes to Hadley. Hadley baseline drive, loses the handle on it, and the ball went out of bounds off of Paragool. Correction, there's a foul underneath there. It's a foul charge against Michaela Lambert, second personal against Lambert, fourth team foul. Nettleton will have the ball with 19 seconds remaining on the clock here in the third quarter. So Nettleton a chance to sink a bucket and get some momentum going into the fourth quarter. Right now it's 35 to 30, Paragold with the lead. They get it in bounds to the juice. The juice to Demaria Daniels, 16 seconds on the clock. She's driving, she shoots, she misses, and Paragold gets the ball. Got Demaria down on the ground underneath the goal, and they're going to call a injury timeout as Demaria Daniels hit the ground hard down there, and Demaria is in some pain. As Demaria, now we're getting a good look at her. She's being checked on by the training staff and by Coach Jason Smith. And she is just twisting on the floor in pain. Hate to see that. Hate to see any of these young ladies get injured in this game. Jason Smith down there comforting her, our athletic training staff on the scene. We appreciate the great folks at St. Bernard Sports Medicine under the direction of Andy Shatley. So thankful for them. Carly Tennyson Swain, wonderful news she got from the doctor today. All of us here at Nettleton praying and thinking the best things about Carly for sure. Demaria up, and she is being helped off the floor, and she is in severe pain. They get her to the trainer's table. 
And let's hope DeMaria is back soon. Nettleton cameraman Jacob Linderman working on drying the floor. Jacob Linderman pulling double duty. That's a good young man. His sister, Allie Linderman, playing for the Lady Raiders. And they trail Paragould 35 to 30 with six seconds remaining here in the third quarter. So let's hope DeMaria is okay. Kiara Brown into the game for Nettleton. Kiki, do you love me? They get the ball inbounds with five seconds now on the clock. Oh, I look like a carry. She got away with it. And the buzzer buzzed before Shakira Brown could get a shot off. So your score at the end of the third quarter, 35 to 30. We'll be back in 60 seconds for more Lady Raider basketball in the fourth quarter on the EAB Sports Network. Back in 60. We welcome you back to fourth quarter action. Lady Raider basketball, fourth quarter about to get underway. Appreciate our producer, Ryan James, back at the studio doing a great job keeping me straight here. Was, I'm having a little trouble hearing on my end, and Ryan going above and beyond tonight to make sure that we bring this game to you. So big shout out to our great producer, Ryan James, back in the EAB studio. 35 to 30 the score, pair goal with a five point lead as we start the fourth quarter of play. Lady Rams around the perimeter, and they're going to call a offensive foul on number 13, Michaela Lambert, away from the ball, third personal, fifth team foul. So Nettleton will inbound. Good way to start the fourth quarter as we trail by five. Kiara Brown into the game, and she's – helping spell the injured Demaria Daniels. Demaria went out with an injury. We hope that she's okay. Briley Pena drives and shoots, misses. However, she's going to be going to the line shooting two as a foul is charged against Shakira Brown. Second, second personal. Team foul number six. Briley Pena sinks her first free throw, and that's her first point since the second quarter. She's got 16 points on the night. 15 of which came in the first half. Misses the second free throw, and Perigold gets the rebound. Hadley DeFries across half court to Carson DeFries. Carson, and she is, there is a foul charge against Perigold. It's going to be a foul charge against Kamari Brown, a moving screen, third personal. Seventh team foul. Sanja Tate did not like that call one bit. The head coach of Paragul, she did not like that call one bit. She calls a timeout. Something tells me she called a timeout so she can talk to the referee more so than she could talk to her team. <laughs> but she is grappling at the officials. And 7-19 remaining in the fourth quarter. Your score is Paragul 35, Nettleton 31. We'll be back in 30 seconds with more Lady Raider basketball on NTV and the EAB Sports Network.
And we welcome you back to Lady Raider Basketball on MTV and the EAB Sports Network. 719 to play in the fourth quarter. Paragould has a four-point lead. It's Paragould 35, Craig Mill and Nettleton 31. I'm Craig Miller. I'm up here in the NEA Baptist broadcast position. Get better with Baptist. Nettleton inbounds. And it's a Kyra James and Carmen McShan working to get the ball across half court. Carson DeFries picks him up def Akira up defensively to Kiki to Carmen McShan at the top of the key. Carmen drives, has her pocket pick, turnover, and good play there by Hadley DeFries. That young lady's got some quick hands, and she just stole the ball right away from the Raider sophomore. Now then, Paragould with the ball. Briley Pena trying to return the favor. She just almost stole the ball. Paragould maintains possession. Lambert to Hadley DeFries. Hadley DeFries to Lambert up top. Paragould playing patiently. Now then a three-pointer. It's no good. And Nettleton gets the rebound. And there's a foul. I believe it's going to be on Carson DeFries. Let's see what the officials say. They're getting their story together. Let's see who they're – it's against Paragould for sure. As teams are going down to the – Moving toward the left, it's going to be Nettleton ball. It's going to be Carson DeFreeze. Carson DeFreeze with her third personal. And that is the eighth team foul against Paragool. And so it'll be a one and one situation for the Raiders. Akira James will be at the line, and she'll be shooting the one and one. Lady Raiders trail by four. The score is Paragould 35, Nettleton 31, 6.30 to play in this game. Akira's first free throw is good. Clutch free throw, the all-important front end of the one and one. And Akira James, she stepped up and drilled it. Makes it a 35 to 32 game. Paragould with a three-point lead with 6.30 to play. Akira's second free throw, nothing but nylon. And it's a two-point game, 35 to 33. Akira applying some pressure to DeFreeze. DeFreeze working on getting it across the half court line. She does so, passes to Lambert. Lambert to come up. Nice defense there by the Juice as Nettleton picks up the loose ball. Turnover. Here comes Briley Pena. She makes the layup, and we got ourselves a tie ball game. Briley Pena picked up the loose ball and delivered the tying points with six minutes to play in this game. We're all tied up at 35. They get it into Kamari Brown. Kamari working against the juice, and she is whistled for the travel. Good defense by Mackenzie Williams, the Raider, Lady Raiders sophomore, and Coach Jason Smith, he elects to call a timeout. 60-second timeout. We'll take a 60-second break with them. 5.55 to play in this game. We're all tied up at 35. Don't you go anywhere, folks. This is a good one. Back in 60 seconds, more Raider basketball on the EAB Sports Network. Lady Raider basketball on MTV and the EAB Sports Network. So glad to have you here on this Tuesday night. We're all tied up at 35 with 5.55 remaining in this game. A couple of arch rivals here, Nettleton and Paragould going at it. Briley Pena with the ball across half court. Passes to Carmen McShan, her sophomore teammate, to Akira James. Back to Briley Pena. Briley Pena far wing. Passes it inside to the Juice. The Juice shoots and can't get it to fall. Lambert gets the rebound. She's a good post player for Paragould. Lambert is, and Paragould with the ball. Michaela Lambert, she has been 
tough on us tonight in the paint. Kamari Brown to Shakira Brown. The Brown, don't know if they're sisters or cousins or what they are. They're great basketball players, I'll tell you that. Two Browns, two DeFries, and a Lambert on the floor for Paragould. They still around the three-point arc. Now then, Carsey DeFries with a runner. She misses, and the ball on its way out of bounds. Carmen McShann grabs it, and Nettleton's ball. And they're going to whistle Paragould for a foul. Number 14, Shakira Brown. That is her third personal and the ninth team foul. Uh, correction, that is her second personal. And it will put Carmen McShann at the line, and Carmen will be shooting the one and one. All tied up at 35. McShann's free throw is good. McShann gives Nettleton a 36 to 35 lead. with 4.50 to play in the game. Second free throw by McShann, nothing but net. 37-35, to the sophomore, Carmen McShann, with ice water in her veins, gives Nettleton a two-point lead with 4.40 to play in the game. Paragold right back to work offensively. DeFries, Hadley DeFries, to Kamari Brown. To Kayla Lambert, Michaela Lambert. Carson DeFries from three. It's no good. Battle for the rebound goes out of, actually it's saved by Carson DeFries. Good play by Carson. She's driving. She shoots. She misses. Michaela McKenzie Williams gets the rebound for Nettleton. She needs some help. And she is going to be fouled. Or actually it's not a foul. It's a timeout. Coach Jason Smith, a good timeout as McKenzie was struggling to find her way there, find somebody that can give her some help. And it is a 30-second timeout. So I'll tell you what we'll do. We will just keep it here during this 30-second timeout. Craig Miller in the NEA Baptist broadcast position. Get better with Baptist. Want to say a great big thanks to Domino's Pizza for sponsoring the broadcast this year of Lady Raider Basketball. Our, we appreciate Domino's. Nobody delivers like Domino's. We just got, after tonight, we just got three more broadcasts. We play Friday night at home against Batesville. And then next week, we're on the road. We're at Jonesboro Tuesday night. That's a short trip over to Don Riggs Gymnasium. And then we end the season, the regular season, at Searcy on Thursday night, a special Thursday night broadcast of Lady Raider basketball. Nettleton with coming into this game, they were two games behind the fourth place Paragould Lady Rams who were playing here tonight. We win this one tonight. We're just a game out of, of fourth place or at least a game behind the rim. Paragold steals the inbound pass. Carson DeFries from three, it's good. Could smell that one coming, folks. Paragold now with a 38 to 37 lead as Carson DeFries just drilled the three-pointer. Now Nettleton with the ball. Carmen McShann, is, she is tied up by Hadley DeFries, a jump ball. The possession arrow is pointing Nettleton's way. So with 3.56 remaining in the game, the Lady Raiders trailing by one. They'll inbound right in front of their own bench. Carmen McShann to inbound. Boy, it's, uh, she just passes the ball out of bounds as uh, Coach Smith hangs his head. That was uh, a play that didn't work out like it was supposed to. Let's just put it that way. The inbound play unsuccessful. Carmen McShann tried to hit McKenzie Williams and went out of bounds. Now then Paragold inbounds, driving, shooting, missing, battling for the rebound. It comes down to Carmen McShann. Now there's a loose ball on the floor, and Sanja Tate calls a timeout, and she's stamping the floor. She is going to have a, uh, a frank discussion with her players. It is a... 30-second timeout, and we're just going to keep it here for this 30-second timeout and let you know we want you to hang around. After the game, we're going to be bringing you the post-game show presented by Real Estate Nate. If you're looking to buy or sell a home, call Nate Lipsky. That's Real Estate Nate at 261-3927. That's 261-3927. If you're like me, you probably won't remember that phone number. All you got to remember is Real Estate Nate. Just Google Real Estate Nate or, heck, get on Facebook, search for Real Estate Nate. You'll find him, and I promise you he will 
do a good job of representing you, whether you're trying to buy or sell a home. We appreciate our good friend, real estate Nate, Nate Lipsky, sponsoring Lady Raider basketball this year. 346 remaining in this game. Perigold with a 38 to 37 lead. They're inbounding under their own goal. Up top to DeFreeze. Three point basket, no good. Correction, that's Shakira Brown. Three point basket, no good. Hit nothing. I've said nothing but net tonight. That hit nothing. The kids used to call that an air ball. And Edelton will inbound and they get the ball to Briley Pena, the Murray State signee. The one you want the ball in her hands when the game is on the line. 3.30 to play in this game. Paragold with a 38-37 lead. Briley Pena to Carmen McShan. McShan dribbles to her right. Passes across the oval in to the juice. Now then back to Briley Pena. Briley Pena drives, pulls back out. Briley Pena walks across the beautiful Oval Inn logo that represents our great school here at Nettleton. She's in the jump circle, and they whistle the play dead. And let's see what the issue is over there. Not, not sure why the stoppage of play. Referee talking to Coach Jason Smith, and my apologies. I, they, made, they made some type of a motion toward his face. I don't know what that means. I do know that Nettleton's about to inbound, and now then the referees, they blow the whistle, and the there's blood on the floor. That's the issue, blood on the floor. Okay, so we'll get that cleaned off, and we'll be back in action. We'll be back in action very soon as they're getting the floor cleaned up. I guess somebody might have had a bloody nose out there or maybe somebody got a scratch. Not sure exactly what happened. I do know that we have three minutes and five seconds remaining in this game, and Perigold has a 38-37 to 37 lead. Coach Sanja Tate, Coach Jason Smith talking to their players. Now they're ready to get back in action. Two outstanding coaches going head-to-head. -head. I do think Sanja Tate could take Coach Smith in a game of one-on-one. -on -one. I think Sanja Tate could take just about anybody in this building in a game of one-on-one. -on -one. Greatest lady Indian of all time. Nettleton inbounds. Kiki to Brownie Pena. Brownie Pena with a running layup gives Nettleton a lead. 39-38. to 38. Nettleton with a one-point lead with just under three minutes to play. Carson DeFries, she drives the paint, pulls up, hits the J. Carson DeFries with just four points on the night, but those last two give Perigold a 40-39 to 39 lead. 2.40 to play as Briley Pena gets it across the half-court line. Working against Brown. Briley Pena to Carmen McShann. Carson DeFries applying defensive pressure. Carmen to Akira, who passes it immediately to Briley. Briley Pena is driving. She passes to Kiara Brown. Kiki has her shot blocked, but into the hands of Akira James for the Lady Raiders. 2.18 on the clock as Briley Pena pulls it back out. Briley Pena right in front of the half court line. Now she's dribbling with her left hand, driving, throws up a shot, and she is fouled. See if they call that on the floor or in the process of shooting. They're going to call it against Michaela Lambert, fourth personal, tenth team foul. And Briley Pena will be at the line. She'll be shooting too. She makes the first free throw. That ties things up at 40. 40 to 40, the score. Fourth quarter, 2.06 to play. Kiki Brown. She comes out of the game. Kyla Williams goes in. Briley Pena at the line. Williams, Williams, Pena, Akira James, and Carmen McShann in the game for Paragool, for uh, Nettleton. For Paragould, it's now DeFreeze, DeFreeze, Lambert, and two Browns. Pena makes her second free throw, and that gives Nettleton a 41-40 lead with 2.01 to play in the fourth quarter. Paragould back to work offensively. Lambert from three. It's good. Clutch three-pointer, Michaela Lambert, gives Paragould a two-point lead with 150 to play. 
43 to 41 the score. Bradley Pena now with the ball across half court. Left wing to Carmen McShan. Carmen McShan drives, passes to Kyla Williams up top. Back to Bradley Pena. Bradley Pena picks up a couple of defenders. She passes to Kyla Williams. Kyla Williams drives, passes back outside up front to Bradley Pena. 127 on the clock. Nettleton trailing by two. Carmen McShan. Now with the ball, working against Carson DeFree. She passes to Kyla Williams. Kyla Williams to Akira James. Akira James driving with her left hand, and she is still dribbling. Passes to Carmen McShan. Now then they blow the whistle because Coach Jason Smith calls a timeout. 106 to play in the game. Perigo 43, Nettleton 41. We'll take a break with them. We'll take a... 30-second timeout. We'll take a 30-second timeout. Don't you go anywhere, folks. You've tuned into a heck of a game here. Nettleton versus Paragold on NTV and the EAB Sports Network. Back in 30. And we welcome you back to Raider Gym. Heck of a game tonight, folks. You've tuned into a good one. This is Nettleton. This is Paragold. Always is great when these two tangle, especially here, especially here in February. There's nothing like Nettleton versus Paragold. They beat us on their court by one point. We're trying to return the favor tonight. 106 to play. The score is Paragold 43, Nettleton 41. Coach Jason Smith just called a timeout for Nettleton. Nettleton will inbound on the far sideline. Carmen McShan, the sophomore, inbounds. Long pass is intercepted. Mm, Lambert intercepts it as she tried to pass it across the width of the court. And Carson DeFreeze across the half court line, 55 seconds. Remaining in the game, Paragould 43, Nettleton 41, and Sanja Tate elects to take a timeout. 60-second timeout. Well, I'll tell you a correction. It's a – well, it is a third – you know what? Let's just take a 30-second timeout just to be safe. 30 seconds break, and we'll be back in 30 seconds of more Lady Raider basketball on NTV and the EAB Sports Network. Jonesboro, 870-333-5068. And we welcome you back to Lady Raider Basketball on NTV and the EAB Sports Network. My big thanks once again to Ryan James, our excellent producer, doing a great job. Uh, I made a mistake on my end. We got it corrected. I can now hear the radio broadcast, and that's wonderful news. 55 seconds remaining in this game. Paragould 43, Nettleton 41. It's so much better whenever I can hear Bob FM. What a great radio station on the EAB Sports Network. Paragould inbounding, and there is a foul away from the play. Let's see if they're calling it on Nettleton. I guess they are calling it on the juice. It's Mackenzie Williams. That is just her second personal and only Nettleton's fourth team foul, and it comes in the fourth quarter with less than a minute to play. So Paragould will inbound once again on the side. Carson DeFreeze gets it inbounds. 53 seconds to play. Paragould with a two-point lead. Going to come down to if Paracool can hit the free throws. Carmen McShan fouls Carson DeFreeze. That is Carmen's second personal foul, and it is the fifth team foul. So Paragool two fouls away from being in the one and one bonus. Carson DeFreeze to inbound. She passes in the backcourt. 
Ball gets in, but a foul is charged against Perigold. And Coach Jason Smith is going ballistic. Coach Smith angry with Coach Sam Wimpy, but the foul is charged against Nettleton. So it'll be a Perigold ball. Foul charged against Nettleton's number three, Briley Pena. Third personal. They get it in this time without any drama. Carson DeFries, she is trapped, and she gets it to number 14, and number 14 is fouled by Briley. So Shakira Brown fouled by Briley Pena. That is Briley's fourth personal and sixth correction. That's the seventh team foul. So at the line is number 14, Shakira Brown. 43 to 41 the score. Paragool the two-point lead, 32 seconds remaining. Front end of the one and one. It's no good, but Paragool gets the offensive rebound. Mm. Lambert with the big rebound for Paragool. And Akira James fouls. Not sure how many fouls there are. The scoreboard says 10. That's obviously wrong. Poor Coach Josh Wright. He struggled down there on the scoreboard tonight. Outstanding man. Outstanding man, though. He probably wouldn't appreciate me shouting him out like that. Hadley DeFries at the line. She makes the front end of the one-on-one one this time. And that makes the score 44-41. to 41. Paragould with a three-point lead to 27 seconds to play. This next free throw would make it a two-possession game if it's good. And it is good. Hadley DeFries with eight points on the night, none bigger than those last two. Bradley Pena quickly across half court. She's driving, picks it up at the elbow, shoots, misses. Rebound goes to the Raiders, and that's Kyla Williams who is fouled on her way back up. Kyla Williams with the big rebound, and Kyla's going to go to the line shooting two. Fouls charge against Michaela Lambert, and that is her fourth personal. So Kyla Williams will be at the line, and Kyla will be shooting two. First free throw is good. Seven points on the night by Kyla Williams. And she makes it a one-possession game with 18 seconds to go. It's Perigold 45, Nettleton 42, 18 ticks on the clock. Kyla Williams, second free throw is good. Two-point game with 17.9 seconds remaining. Perigold with the ball and a two-point lead. Full court pressure now, and they get it in off of the deflection by Briley Pena. Ball loose. Paragould gets it. Lambert across half court. They get it to number 14, Shakira Brown. She's fouled by Carmen McShann. Nine seconds remaining in the game. Paragould with a two-point lead. Foul charge against Carmen McShann. Third personal. Team foul number eight, if my book is correct. Which at this point in the game, I wouldn't bet a whole lot of money on it. Actually, it's ninth team foul. I trust Buddy Nichols more than I do myself. Shakira Brown at the line, and she will be, I'm not sure. I think it's a one and one given the body language. And the first free throw was good. So front end of the one and one, good. Second free throw on the way, 46 to 43, and somebody's been teed up with a technical foul. I believe that was who was that technical on? Uh, they they just said it, and I didn't hear it. I'm not sure it was it was a, a technical foul charge against Nettleton. and it'll send Shakira Brown to the line. She'll shoot two. She makes the first one. I am not sure, and I apologize, folks. He, I didn't see who the referee said, I, and, I, and I couldn't hear what Buddy Nichols said. It was on – Well, now then it's um, – the technical foul was on Paragord, actually. Briley Pena at the line. She makes the first free throw, score 47-44. to 44. Second free throw 
is good. Bradley Pena, and we're sorry that you missed that on the live stream, but Bradley Pena just made two free throws. Whoo, wild and woolly action here as a technical foul was called on Paragool. My word, Shakira Brown picked up the technical foul, if I am correct. So 47 to 45 the score. Paragould with the lead. We'll take a 30 second break. Back with more Lady Raider basketball on the EB Sports Network. Network. Across the state of Arkansas, Farmers and Merchants Bank and the Bank of Fayetteville join you in cheering on our favorite teams. We applaud that effort that makes our schools and activities an important part of our communities more now than ever. Working as a team to make our communities better by helping you reach your goals, that's what happens at Farmers and Merchants Bank and the Bank of Fayetteville, home of me banking, member FDIC. And we welcome you back to Raider Gym, wild and woolly action. If Lance Russell was here, that's what he would say. Wild and woolly action. Paragould 47, Nettleton 45, 9.3 seconds on the clock as the timeout comes to an end. Nettleton ball after a technical foul. So we got, we trail by two, but we got nine seconds to remedy that. Briley Pena is going to inbound on the far sideline at midcourt. Mercy Daddy, Pena. Looking for a Raider to get it to. She passes to Akira James. Clock starts rolling. They get it to the juice. Five seconds. Mackenzie Williams dribbles. Passes to Bradley Pena. Pena from three. It's no good. And your final score, Paragould 47, Nettleton 45. We got it to the right person. She had a good look. Had a three-pointer. Would have won the game, unfortunately, just a little bit off. And Paragould wins this one, 47 to 45. Give me a four-minute break, and then we'll have the Real Estate Nate postgame show back with the postgame show as Paragould wins this from 47 to 45. Postgame show when we come back on NTV and the EAB Sports Network. Network. If you've injured your neck or back, or if you've been in a car accident, you should call the doctors at the Vets Clinic. They've been helping the residents of Jonesboro and Northeast Arkansas for over 20 years now. Many people don't know what to do or where to go after a wreck. Go to the Vets Clinic. You can call them now at 931-3722 or find them on the web at thevetsclinic.com. If you have a bulging or herniated disc, let the doctors at the Vets Clinic help you like they've helped so many others. Call 931-3722 or go to the BetsClinic.com. On the front row with Bedrow is brought to you by Gateway Tire and Service Center and Toyo Tires. Where there's always one thing you can count on, we go the distance for you. Before you hit the road for a trip across country or across town, drop by Gateway Tire and Service Center and check out the great deals on Toyo Tires. Whether it's tires or auto repair, you can always count on one thing. At Gateway Tire and Toyo Tires, we go the distance for you. At Gateway Tire in Paragold and Jonesboro, we go the distance for you. Empower, high-speed internet for your neck of the woods delivered by Craighead Electric. Empower is local. Empower is reliable. Empower is affordable. Empower is super fast broadband. Empower is customer service that puts you in power. We are here for you. 870-336-0999. Empower, bringing you the information you need more quickly and conveniently than ever before. We are Empower, delivered by Craighead Electric. Call and talk to us today. Today at 870-336-0999. High-speed internet from Empower. Internet for your neck of the woods. Hey, farmers. WT Equipment in Jonesboro and Pocahontas is open and ready to equip the farmers of Northeast Arkansas. At WT Equipment, we have both new and pre-owned New Holland T9, T8, T7, and T6 tractors available for sale now, ranging from 125 to 620 horsepower. Both new and pre-owned New Holland CR combines also available now. New Holland SP model sprayers ready to roll now. Come see us at WT Equipment in Jonesboro or Pocahontas or visit our website at WTEquip.com. WT Equipment, let's get it done. Put your daily office routines in the hands of people you can trust. Forest Office Machines, your authorized sharp document systems dealer in Jonesboro. That's right, since 1965, Forest Office Machines has provided dependable office equipment and reliable service. We follow the equipment journey through all kinds of changes and developments, always on the cutting edge, whatever that is. And our partnership with Sharp Document Systems means we offer the very latest, most dependable equipment. And Forest is the only office equipment dealer that when you need supplies, you can walk in our store and get it. When you need it fixed, you can call us. 
This is Barry Forrest. My family's been taking care of equipment needs of businesses just like yours since 1965. I would love to work for you today. Put your daily office routine to the hands of people you can trust. Forest Office Machines, your authorized Sharp Document System dealer at 1005 G Street in Jonesboro, 932-7852. 932-7852. Call Forest Office Machines today. It's basketball season when rolled ankles or tweaked knees are always a possibility. If your favorite athlete has suffered an injury, or maybe you're feeling the aches and pains of seasons gone by, give my friends at Jonesboro Orthopedics and Sports Medicine a call. JOSM doctors have been getting Arkansas State's athletes back in the game for more than 40 years, and they work in collaboration with St. Bernard Sports Medicine to serve as the team doctors for several high schools around the area. To schedule an appointment at JOSM, call 932-1820. Jonesboro Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, excelling in their field so you can excel on yours. Hi, thanks for calling K13 Computers, your ITHQ. Hi, so I'm in a pickle. Everyone at the office thinks I'm a computer guru who fixes the internet, but really, I'm just an intern who resets the router. I don't know what an SQL is, and I can't... Whoa, whoa, calm down. You called the right place. K13 is your IT headquarters. We fix home and office computers, networks, Wi-Fi. We have PC parts, electronics, gaming systems, and we're the best place around for ink and toner. But it sounds like you need our IT support services. We'll be your outsourced IT department on call. Tell everyone to Google K13 Computers or find us on Facebook for all their computer needs. That's K13 Computers in Jonesboro. And we welcome you to the Real Estate Nate Post Game Show brought to you by our good friend Nate Lipsky. If you're looking to buy or sell a home, call Nate Lipsky. That's Real Estate Nate at 261-3927. Well, I wish I had happier news to share with you here on the Real Estate Nate post-game show, but the Lady Raiders were defeated 47-45 to by Paragould in a very key, crucial Conference 5A East matchup tonight. Nettleton led 13-12 to at the end of the first quarter. However, Paragould came back, took the lead in the second quarter, 25-23. to They led at the end. That was the score at intermission, 25-23. to they outscored Nettleton 10 to 7 in the third quarter. Going into the fourth quarter, it was 35 to 30 Paragould, and your final 45 to 47 as Nettleton outscored Paragould by my arithmetic 15 to 8 in the fourth quarter, but it was just a little bit too little, a little bit too late as Nettleton drops the game to Paragould by the score of 47 to 45. Nettleton falls to 15 and 10 on the season, four and seven in Conference 5A East play. The individual leaders for Nettleton, the JOSM player of the game is Briley Pena. The player of the game is brought to you by Jonesboro Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, getting you back in the game for more than 40 years. Briley Pena with 24 points, big night, for the Murray State, Murray State signee. And, uh, man, she just put the Raiders, Lady Raiders on her back in the first quarter as she scored nine of their 13 points. Wound up with 24, and nine of them came in the fourth quarter. So big-time players making big-time plays. Bradley Pena with 24 points. Also, for she is your JOSM player of the game, getting you back in the game for more than 40 years, Jonesboro Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. Also for Nettleton, Kyla Williams had eight points. Mackenzie Williams had six. Carmen McShann had five. And Kyra James had two. Those are all unofficial as they were scribbled down by the TMC as he was trying to call play-by-play and fix technical difficulties on the live stream and on the radio. So (laughs) I promise you. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't put a whole lot of stock into my stats, but maybe they're right. I do know I got the final score right. Paragould wins 47-45. to 45. As for our friends from Paragould, Kamari Brown led the, all the scores for Paragould with 14. Hadley DeFries had 8. Shakira Brown had 11. Uh, Carson DeFries, 4. Michaela Lambert, 5. Kaylin Lamb, 2. I know I got those out of order, so my apology for that. But... The Lady Rams win this one. We will take a – tell you what, let's do. Let's take a three-minute break, and when we come back, we will have the First National Bank pregame show for the boys' game. So three-minute break, and then the boys – the First National Bank pregame show coming up next. You've tuned in to Lady Raider and Raider basketball on NTV and the EAB Sports Network. Back in three. Three. Tucker's Appliance Superstore in Jonesboro is by far the largest – 
Northeast Arkansas, which means more selections than ever before. Right now, a new shipment of name brand in the box inventory has just arrived at Tucker's. Come check it out. Tucker's also offers full factory warranties, free local delivery, and financing at 0% interest. Shop Tucker's Appliance Superstore now at 923 East Parker Road in Jonesboro. Tucker's Appliance. Elite Eye Care, where your vision is our focus. And if you're having trouble with your vision or if your glasses or contacts need an upgrade, make it Elite Eye Care. Hey, it's Brandon Baxter for my personal eye doctors, Kate Wilson and Patrick Fowler at Elite Eye Care. They're local, they live here, and they give back to this community. And the team at Elite Eye Care treats all of their patients like family. On Windover in Jonesboro and West Kings Highway in Paris. Schedule today at EliteEyeCareAndOptical.com or call 972-6040. Elite Eye Care, your vision is our focus. Ship anything, anywhere at your number one shipping source, PacMail in Jonesboro. Bring anything to PacMail and they'll pack it, ship it, crate it, freight it, no matter how big, fragile, or awkwardly shaped. Since 1998, PacMail has been your number one shipping source, the only authorized shipper of all the major carriers, UPS, FedEx, DHL, the Postal Service, and freight services, all in one store. At PacMail, you have choices. Here's PacMail Tim to tell us more. Trey, we are the experts at finding solutions for even the most demanding shipping situations. And our experienced staff can help you choose the best option. So if you need to go to the post office, then FedEx, or all the way out to UPS terminal, and then get that international shipment to DHL, you can do it all in one fast, convenient, and friendly place. PacMail. See, I told you, PacMail ships anything, anywhere, through any shipper. PacMail. Voted the number one printing, packaging, and shipping store in Jonesboro. Don't trust your shipping needs to just anybody. Trust PacMail. 361 Southwest Drive in Jonesboro. Ship anything, anywhere, today at PacMail. Get huge savings now at every Cavanaugh dealership. Cavanaugh has a great selection of late model, low mileage, certified pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs. And most are still under factory warranty. We have every make, every model, so you're sure to find the vehicle you want. And when you buy it, Cavanaugh, every new and used purchase comes with one year free maintenance. Plus, we buy cars. Bring a vehicle, get a check. Come see us today at one of our dealerships or go to CavanaughCars.com. You've been told banks with branches don't have the digital capabilities you need. But why not have the best of both worlds? At First National Bank, we have all the online banking tools you could ever need. Plus, if you need something, we have real people in real places near you. Digital, with branches, and real people. We know you can't be everywhere at once, but we can be anywhere you are. Check it, snap it, track it, pay it, move it, and ask it anywhere. First National Bank, putting you first, always. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. Yellow again, everybody, and welcome to this broadcast of Nettleton Raider basketball on NTV and the EAB Sports Network. Craig Miller sitting right along courtside up here in the NEA Baptist broadcast position. Get better with Baptist. I want to say welcome you to the First National Bank pregame show as we're getting set to host the Rams of Paragool. Nettleton coming into this game 16 and 9 on the year, 4 and 6 in conference. Paragould, they are 11 and 12, 2 and 8 in conference. Nettleton won the first matchup, 72 to 63 at their place. So Nettleton looking to get back on the uh, winning side of the ledger tonight as they face the Rams. Looking at the uh, conference 5A East standings, Jonesboro is in first place. Man, what a season they have! What a great team the Hurricane has this year. They are 10 and 0 in conference. Marion is in second place. They're 8 and 1. West Memphis is in third place with four games to go. They are six and three. Green County Tech has the fourth spot right now. They are four and four. A correction, five and five. Nettleton is in fifth place in the 5A East. They are four and six. So if the season were to end tonight, or the end right now, we would miss the state playoffs, but it ain't going to end. We got a chance tonight. We win this game and Tech loses, then it moves us into a tie for fourth place. Um, in also tied with us, however, is Searcy at four and six. Paragould and Batesville round out the seventh and eighth uh, places in the five A's. Paragould two and eight. Batesville zero oh and ten. Tech plays at Searcy tonight, so that's a key matchup right there for sure, and it will uh, have definite playoff implications. Uh, so we win tonight, and we are in fourth place basically if Tech loses. 
uh, that's that's uh, that's the skinny of it right there. I tell you what, let's do. Let's take a one minute break, and when we come back, we'll have the start of the game. Back in one, back in sixty seconds with a tip. Raider basketball on the EAB Sports Network. Evolve Bank & Trust is your local source for home and business loans. Evolve Bank & Trust is making banking personal again with our friendly customer service and fast turnaround times. Your hometown bank for more than 90 years. Evolve Bank & Trust's dedicated staff can help you realize the dream of owning a home or help grow your small business with confidence. For more information, visit our office at 111 East Huntington, Suite A in Jonesboro, or call 870-933-2480. That's 870-933-2480. Or check us online at getevolved.com. Evolve Bank and Trust, equal housing lender. No matter what the season, it's always a great time to go to Wings to Go. Whether it's football, whether it's basketball, whether it's baseball, whether it's wrestling, whether it's anything, the wings, the paninis, the salads, the hamburgers, everything they have at Wings to Go is always flavorful and it's always ready. All that has to happen is you come down and enjoy them. Happy holidays from Wings to Go. And we welcome you to this broadcast of Raider Basketball on NTV and the EAB Sports Network. Starting lineups being introduced for the Raiders is Andre Davis, Jeremiah Turner, Brandon Anderson, Curtis Smith back in the starting lineup tonight, and Jordan Pegram. For Paragould, it's Isaiah Jackson, Gavin Hall, Jamison DeVault, Ashton Oaks, and Scotty Storms. That is the starters, and we are just about to get underway. Isaiah Jackson jumping against Dr. Dre, Andre Davis. Whistle, tip, Andre wasn't ready for it, and Isaiah Jackson out jumps him. Paragould controls the tip. Not a good start for Nettleton. And Paragould with the ball. Seventh place in the 5A East. See how they come in, play tight or play free and easy. Good defense there by Jordan Pegram up against Jackson. And that's got to be a turnover. It is. And Nettleton will have the ball. Good D by Jordan. I don't know if they call three seconds in the lane or a five-second violation. Not sure exactly what it was, but... In any event, it's a turnover. Nettleton with the ball. Magnum B.A. Brandon Anderson with the ball to Jeremiah Turner. Into Curtis. Curtis tries to pass to Jordan Pegram under the goal. And pass was just a little bit errant and off of the outstretched hand of the All-State defensive lineman Jordan Pegram. Out of bounds. Paragould now with the ball. Devault across half court. He gets it to Oaks. Oaks pulls up with about a 12-footer. It's no good. Jackson gets the rebound, misses, and there is a foul called against Nettleton. It's called against Nettleton's Jeremiah Turner, first personal. That's the first team foul. That's the first foul period of this evening. Paragould inbounds. They get it to Jackson. Jackson drives, misses. However, he's going to be going to the line shooting two. So Isaiah, Isaiah Jackson at the line is he was fouled by Jordan Pegram at a birthday yesterday, born on Valentine's Day. Jordan Pegram, happy birthday to Jordan. Jackson misses the first free throw as he readies to shoot the second one. Want to say our condolences to the family of Carl Chambers, a great Nettleton Raider, class of 1971, standout athlete, beloved student, served on the school board here for, I think, 17 years. Loved this school with all his heart. He lost his life last week, and we want to say prayers for the Chambers family, a man who truly loved his Nettleton Raiders. Jordan Pegram. Makes a layup, but he's whistled for a travel before he could get the shot off. Red Wolf Mark in the broadcast position, bringing me a, some Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Thank you, Red Wolf Mark. Appreciate it, buddy. The great Red Wolf Mark, he knows the way to the TMC's heart. A hot dog and two Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. How about that? Thank you, Mark. 6.39 to, remaining in the first quarter. Paragould one, Nettleton zero. Paragould on offense. Jackson with the ball. 
Uh, he's going to drive against Jordan Pegram. Baseline drive. Now he kicks it out. Right wing three-point attempt is good by DeVault. And he gives Perigold a four to nothing lead. Immediately, right back, the Nettleton Raiders miss layup by JT, and here come the Rams. They have a two to one advantage. Euro step, reverse layup. Man, that was fancy. Gavin Hall, six to nothing lead. They steal the inbound pass. Hall to Jackson. Jackson pump fake, and it's good. And Nettleton is struggling out of the gate. Jackson with three points is eight to nothing. Paragould and the Ram faithful are making some noise over here right in front of me. I don't like it when they're making noise right in front of me. See if Nettleton can hush him up. Dr. Dre drives the baseline, makes the basket, and is fouled. Uh, let's see if they're going to call it on the floor, though. Ashton Oaks, first personal, first team foul. Thank you, buddy. Magnum B.A. Brandon Anderson drives, misses, and Perigold gets the rebound. Brandon Anderson with an aggressive play, unfortunately a little bit too aggressive, and Magnum B.A. is whistled for his first foul. Third team foul. Perigold inbounds on the far sideline, 531 remaining in the first quarter. Eight to nothing the score, Perigold metaphorically has come in and punched Nettleton right in the mouth. Let's we'll see how the Raiders respond. Dr. Dre takes the ball away from a stumbling ram, gives the ball to Jordan Pegram. Jordan Pegram misses the layup. Magnum B.A. with the rebound and the stick back. The captain gets Nettleton on the board. It's 8-2, 5.07 on the clock as Paragould goes back to work on the offensive side of the ball. Isaiah Jackson kicks it back out to Oaks, and he drains a three-pointer for Paragould. That makes the score Nettleton 12, Paragould 11, 452 remaining in the first quarter. JT, Jeremiah Turner to Magnum B.A., Brandon Anderson. Anderson back to Turner. Turner drives, Curtis Smith. Now back to Jeremiah Turner, Jeremiah to Magnum B.A. Magnum B.A. from three, it's good. The captain drains a three-pointer, and he's showing some senior leadership out there. He's got five points. He's got all five of Nettleton's points, 11 to five. Jackson from three, no good. Dr. Dre gets the rebound. He passes to JT. Here come the Raiders. JT passes to Dr. Dre. Andre Davis back to Jeremiah Turner. Jeremiah, no look pass to Dr. Dre. Baseline drive, pump fake, and he puts the ball in the old Peach basket. Andre Davis, nifty play, 11 to seven the score. The Ram lead, which at one point was eight, is now just four. Paragould right back to work. Devault to Jackson. Jackson drives, block shot by Jordan Pegram, the All-State defensive lineman. Here come the Raiders. JT drives the paint, shoots, and scores off the glass. Jeremiah Turner makes an 11-9 game, and Paragould elects to call a timeout. We'll take a 30-second break with them. 3.45 remaining in the first quarter. You score Paragould 11, Nettleton 9. Back in 30 with more Raider basketball on the EAB Sports Network. Network. See Placid Tire Service for the right tire at the right price right now. Placid Tire Service is the area's biggest selection of in-stock tires at the lowest price. While others are searching for tires to order, we'll get you fixed up with a great set of tires and back on the road in no time with our four tires, one hour guarantee. Plus, we make the purchase easy on your budget with our Placid Tire Service card or no credit needed financing options. For the right tire at the right price right now, the choice is easy. That's Placid Tire Service. And we welcome you back to Raider Gym. Craig Miller sitting up here with the NTV crew, my wonderful wife, Lindsay. We're bringing you Raider basketball on the EAB Sports Network from the NEA Baptist broadcast position. Get better with Baptist. It's 11 to nine, pure gold. They came out in this game and punched the Raiders in the mouth. The Raiders picked themselves up. They've been punching back ever since. It was eight to nothing at one time. It's 11 to nine right now. Pure gold misses a Jump shot from the just in front of the free throw line. Magnum B.A. gets the rebound. He's driving it all the way. Has his shot blocked. Jordan Pegram gets the carom and passes the ball out of bounds. Looking for J.T. and just a little bit wide on the pass. So Paragould will inbound. Scotty Storms inbounds to DeVault. DeVault drives all the way to the rack and puts the ball in. Nifty move there by Jamison Duvall. Let me tell you something, Paragould's coming in. They are 
two and eight in conference, but they got some athletes out there. Nettleton does too. Jeremiah Turner is one of them. He just makes a little run and layup. Makes the score 13 to 11. Paragould with a two point lead, 2.53 to play in the first quarter. They get it inside to Jackson, to DeVault. Back into Isaiah Jackson. He works around Jordan Pegram and puts the ball in the hoop. Kid's a good post player. Gives Paragould a four point lead. It's 15 to 11, 2.35 remaining in the first quarter. Magnum BA Brandon Anderson to JT, Jeremiah Turner. Jeremiah dribbling on the oval end here at Raider Gym. Dribbling to his right, giving some instructions to his teammates. Now he's driving, passes to Andre Davis. DeVaris Whitaker still out, high ankle sprain. Hopefully he'll get back next week, but man, those high ankle sprains, that's an injury, takes a long time to heal. So get well soon, DeVaris. We're playing right now without our leading scorer. JT. Picking up some slack, misses the layup. Paragould with the ball. They have a four-point lead with 155 to play. Long range three is good by Scotty Storms. That was out there in Jerry Rook territory. The greatest Raider ever. Routinely made two-point baskets from right there. Scotty Storms, an NBA level three, I guarantee you. He got three points. Curtis Smith from three. Curtis swishes it. Curtis Smith cuts into the Paragould lead. It's Paragould 18, Nettleton 14, 124 on the clock as DeVault gets it across half court. DeVault taking it to the rack himself, loses the handle on it. Now he passes to Jackson. Jackson with a tough post move. He sinks the basket and he's fouled. Isaiah Jackson will be going to the line, shooting the and one. Jordan Pegram's second personal foul, fourth team foul. Deshaun Jackson into the game, as I believe it. Jordan might have got, got poked in the chops. Let's hope Jordan's all right. He's having a heart-to-heart -heart talk with Coach Deaton. Pegram will be back in soon. The and one from Jackson is good, and the Paragol lead now sets at 20 to four, excuse me, 21 to 14. A touchdown lead, 113 to play in the first quarter. Jeremiah Turner with the ball. Passes to Magnum B.A. Brandon Anderson. Brandon dropped the ball, able to corral it before it went out of bounds. Back to Curtis Smith. Curtis getting the start again tonight, and he is he's a dang good three-point shooter, the sophomore Curtis Smith. Curtis to Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre to JT. JT from three. It's no good. Curtis Smith with the offensive rebound. 41 seconds on the clock. Nettleton trailing by seven here in the first quarter. Magnum B.A. Brandon Anderson drives the paint. He shoots the J, misses it. Deshaun Jackson tries to get the rebound, knocks it to a Paragool player. DeVault coast to coast, puts the ball in the bucket. Makes it 23 to 14. Nettleton right back to work offensively with 20 seconds on the clock. The captain skip pass over to Andre Davis. Looking back at Coach Matt Ragsdale, who's given out some instructions. Ten seconds on the clock. Nettleton's going to be playing for the final shot. Paragould up 23 to 14. Magnum B.A. with the ball on the oval end. Two seconds. He's just going to fire up a long-range three, and he drains it. Magnum B.A. Brandon Anderson with a three-pointer at the bucket, and that gives the Raiders some momentum going into the second quarter. We're going to need it as we trail by six. Paragould 23-17. Back with the second quarter on NTV and the EAB Sports Network back after this 60 second break. break. You raised your family here. Did every July 4th here refinish the floors here twice? Sized up your daughter's boyfriends here? Waited in the doorway all day when your son was coming home on leave. This place has given you all you've dreamed of and now it's giving again in the form of a gourmet kitchen and the quietest dishwasher known to man. Realize your dream with a home equity line of credit from Simmons Bank. Dreams realized. SimmonsBank.com. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender subject to credit approval. Trust your heart to better care at NEA Baptist. Better access means communication with your award-winning cardiac team anytime, anywhere with the MyChart app. Better technology means leading this state with new treatments and interventions right here in Jonesboro. Better is an integrated team of experts at your service when seconds matter. Your heart deserves better. 
Find it at NEA Baptist. You're listening to the Nettleton Raiders on 94.1 KIYS HD2, Walnut Ridge, Jonesboro. Second quarter underway as we're back in action here at Nettleton. Jeremiah Turner from three. It's good. JT from three. Seven points on the night for JT. And it's a one possession game. Paragould now leads 23 to 20. Paragould with the ball. Behind his back, Oaks gets it into Isaiah Jackson. They're very good post player. Jackson makes the basket. His 10th point of the night gives Paragould a 25 to 20 lead. Working against Deshaun Jackson. Isaiah Jackson against Deshaun Jackson for the Raiders. Isaiah got the best of that exchange. Magnum B.A. Brandon Anderson to Deshaun, to Dr. Dre, to Curtis, to JT on the oval end. He backs up, takes another run at it. Magnum B.A., Brandon Anderson, big three at the end of the first quarter. He fires up another three, and it's good. Magnum B.A., Brandon Anderson, he's on fire tonight, folks. 11 points by the captain. It's a two-point game. Paragould with a two-point lead. Oaks from three, and it's good. Paragould answers. Good ball game going on here tonight. 28-23, here come the Raiders. Magnum B.A. from three. That one's a little bit short. Paragould gets the rebound. They got a three-on-one advantage. And number 23 with a nice run and layup. That's Landon Manning. No Ken to Caleb or Russ. And he gives Paragould a seven-point lead, 30-23. to Curtis Smith. Picks up his dribble, passes to Deshaun Jackson, left wing Brandon Anderson. Brandon give and go to Deshaun Jackson. Dunk attempt, no good, but he's fouled on his way to the rack. Isaac Giles whistled for the foul. That is two fouls against Perigold, and it sends Deshaun to the line. Deshaun will be shooting two. First free throw is good. Brandon Alexander checking into the game for Nettleton. Had the privilege of going to the Grand Slam banquet last night thanks to our great friends, David Daniel, Coach David Daniel, the guys at First Community Bank. They hooked the TMC up with some tickets as Deshaun makes the second of two free throws. That makes the score 30 to 25. Talked to a former Riverside great there, Brandon Brewer. Man, he used to have some battles with the Raiders back in 89 here at Raider Gym. Riverside, a very good team in 89. Of course, 89, best class ever at Nettleton. Paragool now with the ball. Oaks has his shot blocked by Deshaun Jackson. Oaks spinning this way and that, took the shot. Deshaun Jackson said, I don't think so, Mr. Ashton Oaks. Not today. Not in my neighborhood. Not on Raider, the floor of Raider Gym. 30 to 25, the score, 549 remaining. Paragould will inbound underneath their own goal. Looking for an open guy at about four seconds. They get it in to Jackson. Gavin Hall with the inbound pass. Three-point attempt, number 33, is good. That's Isaac Giles. He makes it 33-28. to 28. Let me tell you something. This Paragould team, they got some shooters. Jeremiah Turner drove in, pulled back out, passes to Magnum B.A. Now then to Brandon Alexander. Magnum B.A. Jr., maybe. Brandon Anderson breaks an ankle, fires up a three, misses it. Jackson gets the rebound for Paragool. Isaiah Jackson, three. Oh, boy, there's got to be an offensive foul there. Let's see what the call is. Foul charge against Brandon Anderson. Mm. Second personal. Team foul number five. So Magnum B.A. picks up the foul. And he's going to take a little breather as he's got two fouls here in the second quarter. 5.15 remaining in the second quarter. Your scores, Paragool 33, Nettleton 25. This is a key game here for both teams, for, especially for Nettleton. Now, you know, Paragool, they're sitting seventh in the conference, two and eight. Uh, probably their chances of making the state, they're going to have to win out. Nettleton needs to win this game. They have four, three games remaining after tonight, including one against Jonesboro. 
play Batesville. They play Searcy as well. Batesville Friday night. Next week they play Jonesboro and Searcy. Foul charge against Paragould, an offensive foul. Number 33, Isaac Giles. Second personal. Team foul number three. Nettleton inbounds, and JT, Jeremiah Turner across half court. Passes to Brendan Alexander, to Dr. Dre, to Curtis Smith. JT driving the baseline, shoots and misses the layup. However, there's a – I guess he might have stepped on the baseline. I think that's what they said. So it's Paragool ball, turnover, Paragool ball. Jeremiah Turner, defense on Storms. Storms misses – the shot from the middle of the lane, and Curtis Smith gets the rebound. 4.30 on the clock, second quarter. Rams up by eight. Dr. Dre loses the handle on it during the spin cycle. And here come the Rams. Nifty play there by Landon Manning as he drives and sinks the running layup off the glass. Landon Manning, no can to Russ or Caleb. I think we've established that already tonight. Gives the Rams a 10-point lead. JT driving and has his shot blocked. I believe they might have got a little bit of – yeah, they gave – they they caught on a foul on Landon Manning as he got a little bit of flesh with the leather. JT at the line, and he makes his first free throw. Eight points on the night for JT. It makes it a 35 to 26 game. Paragol 35, Nettleton 26, 402 remaining in the second quarter. These Rams have come to play tonight. Jeremiah Turner makes his second free throw, and Nettleton takes a timeout. 402 remaining in the game. We'll just keep it right here during this. Uh, I said 402 remaining in the game. Excuse me. 402 remaining in the the first half. And your score is Paragool 35 at Nettleton 27. And want to say, uh, while we leaving it here during this 30-second break, want to say a great big thanks to our friends at Kavanaugh Auto Group for sponsoring tonight's game. Kavanaugh, to see their entire inventory from the comfort of your home, all you got to do is log on to KavanaughCars.com. That's Kavanaugh Cars. Dot com, and you can see all the trucks, all the cars, all the SUVs that Kavanaugh has to offer. So check out Kavanaugh Auto Group's complete inventory, KavanaughCars.com. We greatly appreciate our friends from Kavanaugh sponsoring this broadcast. Paragould with the 35-27 lead, four minutes remaining in the second quarter. Paragould with the ball. Shout out to the Morton brothers from Paragould, Jeff and Zach Morton. A couple of... Great guys. Jeff Morton, one of the greatest basketball players to ever play for Paragould. Had the scoring record for a long time. Another good player for Paragould is Gavin Hall. Gavin just had his pocket picked. Ball out of bounds off of Dr. Dre. Paragould will inbound it right in front of the Nettleton bench. They get it into Oaks and now then to Scotty Storms. That's a good name right there, Scotty Storms. Scotty. Passes to the right wing. Now they get it in, into the lane. Deflected by Magnum B.A. Battle for the loose ball. Paragold gets it. Back to Jackson. Now then to Storms. Storms with the ball. Looking to get it to Landon Manning inside. Now Manning kicks out to the right wing. And Paragold backs it out. Standing on the volleyball 15-foot line. Three-point attempt is good by Gavin Hall. Young man knows how to shoot the ball. 38 to 27 now. 11 point lead for Paragould with less than three minutes to play in the second quarter. JT breaks an ankle and metaphorically speaking breaks an ankle. Misses the shot. Paragould with the rebound. Hall from the far corner. Skip pass to Scotty Storms. Storms drives to Landon Manning. Landon baseline drive and it's good. A young man can play. Landon Manning, six points in this quarter. Makes the score 40 to 27, and the Paragol fans having some fun at our expense here tonight. It's 40 to 27, Paragol with a 13 point lead. It's a good team. They got some players. Dr. Dre spins in the lane, shoots, and scores. 
Four points on the night for Dr. Dre. Makes it 40 to 29. Paragool with an 11 point lead. Now then Gavin Hall. Thought about taking a three pointer. Instead passes to Scotty Storms into Oaks. Oaks in the lane. Passes back up top to Storms. Landon Manning, right wing, loses the ball. Now he gets it, gets it to Oaks. They get it inside to their post player, Jackson. Isaiah misses, but I believe he's fouled by Deshaun Jackson. Yep, Deshaun Jackson whistle for the foul. First personal, team foul number six, and it sends Isaiah Jackson to the line. He'll be shooting two. First free throw is good. We defeated Paragould 72 to 63 at their place. Isaiah Jackson, the man at the line, he scored 18 points. Got in some foul trouble, limited his playing time. And he is not in foul trouble tonight and he has got 12 points. And his Rams have a 42 to 29 lead over Nettleton with 150 to play in the second quarter. Magnum B.A. Brendan Anderson drives, misses the layup. Jackson gets the rebound and fast break. Here come the rims. DeVault makes the layup. Paragould playing very good basketball tonight. Everything breaking their way. 44 to 29. Paragould with a lead with 133 to play in the second quarter. Nettleton going to work, playing with some urgency. Dr. Dre spins, shoots, misses, and Jackson gets the rebound. Mercy. Raiders struggling, Rams firing on all cylinders, and that's why they lead by 15 here with just over a minute 10 to play in the second quarter. Jackson goes up for a shot. I believe he's fouled by Dr. Dre, Andre Davis. Going to be two shots. Yep, Andre Jackson, first personal, team foul number seven, and it sends Isaiah Jackson to the line. He'll be shooting two. He makes the first free throw. And that makes it 44 to 29 with 111 to play in the second quarter. Revolting development, Raider fans, as Paragould is coming in and they are taking it to the Raiders. Second free throw by Jackson is good. 46 to 29, 17 point lead now for Paragould. Jeremiah Turner across half court with 104 on the clock. Let's see if the Raiders can't get something going here. In the waning seconds of the second quarter. Right now, everybody's just kind of discombobulated. These Rams have come in and put it to us. Curtis Smith misses the three. Isaiah Jackson gets the rebound. He passes to Oaks. Oaks with 47 seconds on the clock. Far wing, right wing. Gavin Hall misses a three-pointer. Battle for the rebound. Nettleton comes up with it. It's Magnum B.A. Brandon Anderson. Dribbles behind his back. The captain has the ball knocked away by Gavin Hall. Jump ball. Jump ball. The Paragould bench is trying to call a timeout with 32 seconds remaining. And I don't know if they call it a jump ball. I believe they did call it a, yeah, it's a, a timeout for Paragould. So we'll take a 30 second break with them. Back with more Radio Basketball on the EB Sports Network after the 30 second break. Second break. This is Keith Baird with Baird Auto Group. There's nothing that brings our community together like high school sports. No matter what the scoreboard says, it's a winning feeling just to be a part of it. At Baird, we want you to have the feeling anytime you come into one of our dealerships. Good credit, bad credit, no credit, no problem. Don't buy anywhere else until you shop at Baird location near you. Don't get a bad deal, get a Baird deal. Because why pay more? Saving service, great selection too. Raider basketball on NTV and the EAB Sports Network. 32 seconds remain in the second quarter, and Paragould has a 46-29 lead over Nettleton. We defeated Paragould at their place, 72-63. I think we made them mad. Historically, the Rams have always played us tough here at Nettleton, and boy, they are sticking true to their roots tonight. Everything they're throwing up is going in, and they are playing good basketball. Now Jackson, he got it across half court. He's standing on our oval end logo, and he's watching the clock tick down. It's at 15 seconds. Perigo playing for the final shot here in the second quarter. 
Now with 10 seconds, Jackson drives, shoots, has a shot blocked by Deshaun Jackson. Here come the Raiders, five seconds on the clock. They get it to Magnum B.A. Brendan Anderson. Brandon Anderson misses the layup. Baseball pass to DeVault. DeVault misses the desperation shot at the buzzer. Your score at half, Perigo 46, Nettleton 29. Back in four minutes with the halftime show on the EAB Sports Network. Looking for some land you'd like to populate. All real estate, real estate, real estate dates. Listen, we all know the real estate market is crazy right now, so whether you're buying or selling, you deserve maximum value. You want real market knowledge. You want real negotiating power. You want real results. You need Real Estate Nate. Give me a call. I got you back. Call Real Estate, Real Estate, Real Estate Nate. Call today. Real Estate Nate with Halsey Thrasher Harpo Real Estate Group. 870-261-3927. For me, rice farming isn't a profession. It's been my life for more than 30 years. And as owner of Della Plains Seed, I've been the region's rice tech leader for more than a decade. Every planting season, I'm in the fields right along with you, and we're figuring out how to make sure bushels mean dollars together. From selecting your hybrid rice to free on-farm delivery and one-on-one -on -one consultation, I'd like to help your rice fields see more profit this season. I'm Terry Gray at Della Plains Seed. Call me today at 870-249-3447. Let's talk about your best rice options. What does better mean to you? Maybe it's better services, better support, better ways to build a life or buy a home or run a business. First Security is your partner for it all, with resources and solutions that make a difference for you and others. That's because First Security takes care of customers while building communities. Better for you, better for Arkansas, better for all. First Security, bank better. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Domino's Pizza is hiring. Work in a fun, fast-paced environment with Domino's. Do you have solid math skills, sound judgment, and the ability to multitask? You want to be the boss? Domino's Pizza is needing an assistant manager. Domino's is also hiring for delivery drivers with fun and flexible hours and a great schedule that'll fit what you're looking for. And take home cash every night. Domino's needs customer service representatives too. Apply now at jobs.dominos.com. That's jobs.dominos.com. Domino's Pizza is an equal opportunity. Employer. Attention members and guests. J-Town's Grill is once again a proud supporter of the A-State Red Wolves. Make J-Town's Grill your after-game destination to celebrate another Red Wolves victory. And don't forget to come back for Sunday brunch and catch the NFL games on the big screens at J-Town's. Everything from appetizers, salads and sandwiches to burgers and wraps, all at J-Town's Grill. With indoor and outdoor seating and live music. J-Town's Grill on Johnson right across from Centennial Bank Stadium. Check out their menu at jtownsgrill.com. And like them on Facebook. Demo Smokehouse Barbecue on Johnson at Hilltop and on Main Street across from Jonesboro High School. Now, I'm from Memphis and I know barbecue, but there are people from Memphis that travel to Jonesboro to sample, taste, and enjoy Demo's Barbecue. No kidding. They come from Memphis. So, no need to go anywhere else. Right here, the best barbecue is at Demo's. Any of the ribs, any of the plates, you can enjoy it all at Demo's Smokehouse Barbecue. My mouth is is watering. Your medical needs are personal, and the way you manage those needs should be personal as well. The team at Southern Home Healthcare is local, knowledgeable, and courteous, giving you the customized care you and your family deserve. When facing breathing challenges, the on-staff respiratory therapists at Southern Home Healthcare provide support and guidance just for you, and you can sleep better with the help of their CPAP and BiPAP therapy. Plus, treat your strains, sprains, and pain with the help of Southern Home Healthcare's high-quality bracing devices. Go online to southernhomehealthjonesboro.com. Your specialty print and ship store is the Safe Ship Store in Jonesboro. Owner David Leonard wants to help you with all your shipping and printing needs, and they'll always give you the best customer service and highest quality product for the absolute lowest prices in town. So, when you need something packed and shipped, or when you need printed products, call the Safe Ship Store. Come in today to see all they have to offer. For the best customer service, quality, and prices, visit the Safe Ship Store. 2500 Alexander Drive, Suite C in Jonesboro. 870-333-5068. And we welcome you to the St. Bernard's Halftime Show here at Nettleton, where Paragold has a 46-29 lead over the Raiders at the intermission. Those words are hard for me to get out of my mouth. St. Bernard's Halftime Show is brought to you by St. Bernard's. They've been at the heart of great medicine for more than 120 years. 51 years ago, a 9-pound, 10-ounce, bouncing bundle of TMC entered into the world at St. Bernard's Hospital and 
I'm sure many of you listening out there tonight can say the same thing, that you were born at that great hospital. Uh, they're sponsoring this season's broadcast, and, man, we sure do appreciate the great people at St. Bernard's for sponsoring the halftime show. I wish I could give you more good news tonight, Raider Nation. I really do. Uh, we lost the girls' game, and we're losing the boys' game here at half. It's 46 to 29. Now, during the intermission, I did the math. That's a 17 point lead. 17 point lead for Paragool. Many thanks to Jim McDaniel, Charlene Jernigan, uh, Miss Taylor, Miss Rogers. A lot of great math, Miss Opaline Thompson, Miss Neal, Miss Foster. I've had a lot of great math teachers at Nettleton. And um, they taught me how to do a little bit of cipher. And 17 point lead. I wish I didn't have to give you that number. But Paragould, they you got to give them credit. They came in and man, they put it to us in the first quarter. They outscored us 23 to 17. Second quarter, they outscored us 23 to 12. And they go into the uh, they went into the intermission, the halftime break, leading by 17. 46 to 29, the score here at the half. Let's take a look at the leading scorers. First of all, our leading scorer is out, DeVaris Whitaker, the leading scorer. And, and um, we have struggled the last couple games without him for sure. Uh, DeVaris is, has a high ankle sprain. Talked to Coach Matt Ragsdale before the game. And uh, those high ankle sprains, they are painful and they take a long time to heal. Let's hope that uh, we'll see him back in action next week because next week's the last week of the regular season. So get well soon, DeVaris, uh, from that high ankle sprain. In his absence, here's how the Raiders have done. Brandon Anderson, the captain, has led the team with 11 points, eight of which came in the first quarter. Jeremiah Turner has nine points. Andre Davis, Dr. Dre with four. Curtis Smith, three. Deshaun Jackson with two. As for Paragould, they are led by Isaiah Jackson, their outstanding post player. He has 14 points, eight of which came in the first quarter, six in the second. Also for Paragould, Jamison DeVault, their point guard, he has nine points. A couple of Rams have six, Ashton Oaks and Landon Manning. No Ken to Russ or Caleb, either one. Gavin Hall has five, Scotty Storms three, and Isaac Giles three. So good balanced offensive attack for Paragould, and they have a 46-29 lead here at the break. We'll take a three-minute break, and we'll have the second half when we come back. This has been the St. Bernard's Halftime Show back in three with more Raider basketball on the EB Sports Network. Network. Across the state of Arkansas, Farmers and Merchants Bank and the Bank of Fayetteville join you in cheering on our favorite teams. We applaud that extra effort that makes our schools and activities an important part of our communities more now than ever. Working as a team to make our communities better by helping you reach your goals, that's what happens at Farmers and Merchants Bank and the Bank of Fayetteville, home of me banking, member FDIC. If you've injured your neck or back, or if you've been in a car accident, you should call the doctors at the Vets Clinic. They've been helping the residents of Jonesboro and Northeast Arkansas for over 20 years now. Many people don't know what to do or where to go after a wreck. Go to the Vets Clinic. You can call them now at 931-3722 or find them on the web at thevetsclinic.com. If you have a bulging or herniated disc, let the doctors at the Vets Clinic help you. Like they've helped so many others, call 931-3722 or go to the BetsClinic.com. On the front row with Bedrow is brought to you by Gateway Tire and Service Center and Toyo Tires. Where there's always one thing you can count on, we go the distance for you. Before you hit the road for a trip across country or across town, drop by Gateway Tire and Service Center and check out the great deals on Toyo Tires. Whether it's tires or auto repair, you can always count on one thing. At Gateway Tire and Toyo Tires, we go the distance for you. At Gateway Tire in Paragold and Jonesboro, we go the distance for you. Empower. High-speed internet for your neck of the woods delivered by Craighead Electric. Empower is local. Empower is reliable. Empower is affordable. Empower is super fast broadband. Empower is customer service that puts you in power. We are here for you. 870-336-0999. Empower. Bringing you the information you need more quickly and conveniently than ever before. We are Empower. Delivered by Craighead Electric. Call and talk to us today at 870-336-0999. 
Sun. High speed internet from Empower. Internet for your neck of the woods. Hey, farmers. WT Equipment in Jonesboro and Pocahontas is open and ready to equip the farmers of Northeast Arkansas. At WT Equipment, we have both new and pre owned New Holland T9, T8, T7, and T6 tractors available for sale now, ranging from 125 to 620 horsepower. Both new and pre owned New Holland CR combines also available now. New Holland SP model sprayers ready to roll now. Come see us at WT Equipment in Jonesboro or Pocahontas or visit our website at WTEquip.com. WT Equipment, let's get it done. It's basketball season when rolled ankles or tweaked knees are always a possibility. If your favorite athlete has suffered an injury or maybe you're feeling the aches and pains of seasons gone by, give my friends at Jonesboro Orthopedics and Sports Medicine a call. JOSM doctors have been getting Arkansas State's athletes back in the game for more than 40 years and they work in collaboration with St. Bernard Sports Medicine to serve as the team doctors for several high schools around the area. To schedule an appointment at JOSM, call 932-1820. Jonesboro Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, excelling in their field so you can excel on yours. And we welcome you back to Raider Basketball on the EAB Sports Network. Second half getting underway. Paragold with a 17-point lead, 46-29. Raiders got a lot of work to do. I have a feeling these young men are capable. I'm sure they received a a very warm halftime speech from Coach Bubba Deaton. Probably told him how much he loves them and how much he's going to be proud of them when they come from behind and win this game. I'm sure that's basically the two-point message that Coach Deaton had for his team. Perigold with the ball. Hall drives, shoots, misses. Nettleton gets the rebound. Dot Curtis Smith with the rebound for Nettleton. He passes to JT, Jeremiah Turner. Jeremiah Right wing to Magnum B.A. Back to J.T. J.T. drives, passes to Curtis. Braylon King, left wing three, no good. Paragol gets the rebound. Hall with the rebound for the Rams. And here comes Paragol. Oaks has the ball stolen away by Jeremiah Turner. J.T. across half court rapidly. 7-12 on the clock. Raiders trailing by 17. As the Rams coming in like a whirlwind. Taking care of business in a flash. Braylon King loses the handle on it, grabs it, and he throws it away. Paragould with the fast break. They get it to Jackson. Jackson with a slam dunk. 16 points on the night. Those two are with authority. 6.48 on the clock. It's 48 to 29 as Paragould imposing their will on the Raiders so far here tonight. Let's turn this thing around, Raiders. Curtis Smith, top of the key. He gets it in to Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre has the ball stolen by Gavin Hall. It's all Paragool tonight, folks. Oaks to Hall to Jack, uh, Isaiah Jackson. Jackson to Storms. They get it into Jackson, the post player in the paint. Nice little post move. And Isaiah Jackson with 18 points on the night. It's a 21-point lead for Paragool, 50 to 29. What a revolting development this is. Braylon King. Left wing to Magnum B.A. Brandon Anderson to Curtez Smith. Jeremiah Turner now with the ball. Curtez drives, shoots, and scores. But he's fouled on the floor before he can do so. And somebody gets technical. I believe that is that is Ashton Oaks who the foul was against. And I believe they called a technical foul on JT. Let's see if we can't sort this out. Jeremiah Turner is at the line. Yeah, technical foul charged against, I believe, against Jeremiah Turner. Yep, Jeremiah Turner, who's shooting the free throws right now, but he had a technical called against him. The referee down there explaining to Coach Bubba Deaton his reasoning for that right now. Jeremiah misses his free throw. And now it'll be a technical shot. So Jeremiah Turner, actually, his basket did count. That was the and one that he was shooting. Hall shooting the free throws, and he makes the first one for Green County Tech. So Jeremiah Turner with an and one.
So it's 51 to 31 right now as we're trying to get all that sorted out up here in the NTV booth. Like a Three Stooges routine there for a second as the Rams tripping over themselves. Jackson has it and driving in the paint, and he is going to be at the line shooting two as he is fouled. And I believe they're going to issue a bench warning against Coach Bubba Deaton. So the foul is charged against Braylon King. First personal, second team foul. And it puts Jackson at the line, and he'll be shooting two. First free throw is no good by Jackson. Second free throw coming up. Rams lead by 20, folks. It's 51 to 31 with 5.48 to play in the third quarter. Second free throw from Jackson is good. 52 to 31, a 21 point lead. 5.46 to play in the third quarter. Magnum B.A. Brendan Anderson across the timeline. Jukes, jives, pulls back now. He's on the right wing, pulls back all the way to the R and the Raiders, and passes to Jeremiah Turner. J.T. over on the right wing. Now he launches a three. It's no good, and Storms gets the rebound for Paragool. The Rams across half court. Storms passes right wing to Oaks, and there is a defensive penalty called against Nettleton's Magnum B.A. Brandon Anderson. That is the third personal charge against Brandon, and it's the third team foul. Hall will inbound, and timeout called by Nettleton. We'll take that timeout with him. We need a timeout, 5-15. To play in the third quarter, back in 60 seconds, is 52-31. to 31. Paragool, back in 60s, more Raider basketball on the EB Sports Network. Network. Hi, thanks for calling K13 Computers, your ITHQ. Hi, so I'm in a pickle. Everyone at the office thinks I'm a computer guru who fixes the internet, but really, I'm just an intern who resets the router. I don't know what an SQL is, and I can't... Whoa, 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 calm down. You called the right place. K13 is your IT headquarters. We fix home and office computers, networks, Wi-Fi. We have PC parts, electronics, gaming systems, and we're the best place around for ink and toner. But it sounds like you need our IT support services. We'll be your outsourced IT department on call. Tell everyone to Google K13 Computers or find us on Facebook for all their computer needs. That's K13 Computers in Jonesboro. Tucker's Appliance Superstore in Jonesboro is by far the largest appliance showroom in Northeast Arkansas, which means more selections than ever before. Right now, a new shipment of name brand in the box inventory has just arrived at Tucker's. Come check it out. Tucker's also offers full factory warranties, free local delivery, and financing at 0% interest. Shop Tucker's Appliance Superstore now at 923 East Parker Road in Jonesboro. Tucker's Appliance. Third quarter action here at Raider Gym. It's been all Rams so far. They have a 52-31 lead over Nettleton with 5.08 on the clock here in the third quarter of play. DeVault to Jackson. Jackson Oaks in the left wing. He fires up a three-pointer and misses. The rebound goes to Nettleton. Jacob Boyles into the game. He gets the rebound, and he commits a turnover as Paragould steals the ball. Alley oop to Jackson. The alley was there. The oop was missing, but Paragould gets the rebound. Hall trying to get it into Oaks. Underneath it goes out of bounds, and the Senate went out of bounds off of Nettleton. Boy, Mama said there'd be days like this, and they called a technical foul, I believe, on Magnum B.A. Brendan Anderson. Maybe it was, it's actually a technical foul called on Bubba Deaton, and Coach Deaton having to be restrained. Coach Deaton having to be restrained by Coach Ragsdale and Coach Thomas, and he is very unhappy with the officiating tonight. Hall will be at the line. He will be shooting the technical free throws. First one is good. That makes the score 53 to 31. 22 point lead now for the Rams. Hall's second free throw is no good off the front of the rim. With 440 remaining in the third quarter, it's 53 to 31. Paragold will get possession after the technical that was called on Coach Bubba Deaton. Coach Deaton is very unhappy. I'm sure he's unhappy with the play of his team. He's unhappy with how good Paragool is playing. He's definitely voicing his pleasure with the officiating tonight. Mama told us there would be days like these. 
You can't say mama didn't tell us. Hall from three, no good. Jackson with the rebound. He falls out of bounds. Let's see if they call a foul. I believe they called a foul. Magnum B.A. Uh, correction. It's a uh, foul charge against Andre Davis. That is personal foul number two, team foul number five. Perigo will inbound under their own goal. They got a big lead here, 53-31. By my math, that's a 22-point lead, 425 to play. Isaiah Jackson driving, and they call a foul on Andre Davis. Third personal. Sixth team foul. So, Nettleton here in 424 remaining in the third quarter. They're almost in the one and one bonus. Oaks backing his way toward the goal, and he took one, two, one or two too many steps. He's whistled for the travel, and Nettleton inbounds. Curtis Smith to Jeremiah Turner. Jeremiah across half court. To Dr. Dre, Andre Davis, to Magnum B.A., Brandon Anderson. He little lob pass to Andre Davis. Too tall, out of bounds, and Paragould will inbound. 53-31 to the score. Paragould up big, 408 remaining in the third quarter. Full court pressure now by the Raiders. Paragould beats it. Jackson, he has a lane to the goal, misses a layup, and Nettleton's Dr. Dre gets the rebound. Andre Davis. Pass to Andre, and he's fouled. Jamison DeVault picks up his first personal and second team foul against Perigool. Nettleton inbounds near sideline right in front of the Nettleton bench. Jacob Boyles inbounds to Magnum B.A. Brandon Anderson. Brandon Anderson to Jeremiah Turner. Turner drives, misses the shot, and I believe he's going to be whistled for a foul. That is third personal against JT, seventh team foul. And so number 21, Ashton Oaks will be at the line and he'll be shooting a one and one. His Rams lead the Raiders 53 to 31, 344 to remain, remaining here in the third quarter. Deshaun Jackson getting ready to check in. Oaks sinks the front end of the one and one, which gives him the right and privilege to, to get another one. Second free throw is good. And 344 and remaining in the third quarter, it's 55 to 31. Perigo lead now at 24. Magnum BA Brandon Anderson Taking it himself all the way to the rack, and he's fouled. So Magnum B.A. will be at the line. He'll be shooting two. For what it's worth, Magnum B.A. leads the Raiders tonight with 11 points. Foul charge against Gavin Hall. Just his first personal, third team foul. Magnum B.A., Brandon Anderson at the line. He'll be shooting two. His Raiders trail 55-31, to 31, and he misses the first of two free throws. Off the front of the rim. Second free throw on its way. It's good. 12 points on the night by Magnum B.A. Makes the score 55 to 32. 23 point lead. Jackson driving, has a shot blocked by Deshaun Jackson. Good job by Deshaun. Ball out of bounds off of Perigo. Nettleton went inbound. We apologize on the live stream. We are up, camera is out, so we're just having to go with the down camera. Bear with us while we try to fix that. Nettleton with the ball. Perigo with a huge lead. 3.13 to play in the third quarter. JT to Jacob Boyles. Boyles to Curtis Smith. Curtis Smith from three, and it's good. Curtis Smith with six points on the night. Both of them coming, uh, all six of them coming by way of the three-pointer. Two three-pointers by Curtis. Young man can shoot. And now Paragould and milking some time off this clock with a 20-point lead here in the third quarter. Now they get it to Gavin Hall. Gavin Hall, he's got a 
High motor on him. He drives, shoots, misses, and Nettleton gets the rebound. Don't know if the coach is very proud of Hall for, for that particular maneuver. A turnover. Perigold has the ball now. Brandon Alexander gets ready to come in for Nettleton. Isaiah Jackson drives, shoots, and is fouled by Deshaun Jackson. So Isaiah Jackson will be at the line. He'll be shooting two. Deshaun picks up his second personal and his team foul number eight. However, it was committed during the act of shooting, so it will be two free throws awarded to Isaiah Jackson. He has 19 points on the night. Leads all scorers. Scored 18 against us at Paragould. Got in foul trouble. Didn't play just a whole lot. He's only got one personal foul against him by my count. Misses the first free throw. Brendan Alexander in. Actually, um, Isaiah Jackson has no fouls against him. It's the first time I can remember ever being wrong. Isaiah Jackson, second free throw. It's good, and he has 20 points on the night. And his Rams have a 56-35 lead over Nettleton with 2.17 to play in the third quarter. Magnum B.A. Brandon Anderson makes his own space and drains a three from the left wing. Magnum B.A. Brandon Anderson cuts into the Ram lead. It's 56-38. to The Rams right back to work. Gavin Hall to Isaiah Jackson. Isaiah lunges forward, does not dribble. Now he dribbles with his right hand, tries to get it inside, does so to Oaks. Dangerous pass right there. Oaks back out to Jackson. Jackson now with the ball. Get it into Manning. Manning to Oaks, and the play is whistled dead. Foul charge against Nettleton. Nettleton's number 12, Brandon Alexander, first personal. Team foul number nine. It'll put Oaks at the line, and he'll be shooting the one and one. Misses the first one, and Nettleton gets the rebound. Jeremiah Turner across midcourt, 1.30 on the clock as he misses the layup, but he's fouled. Paragould's number four, Isaiah Jackson, first personal, fourth team foul, puts JT at the line. His first free throw is good. Braylon King into the game. If you're watching the live stream, I think we got the, well, we're having dif difficulties with our up camera, so just be patient with us. One of those nights where everything that can go wrong has gone wrong. Jeremiah misses his second free throw. And Paragould's Landon Manning across half court. Walking the call against DeVault. 120 remaining in the third quarter. It's 56 to 39, Paragould with a big lead. Deshaun Jackson checks into the game. Here come the Raiders. JT running with a little runner there. He misses it. And Jordan Pegram back into the game for the Raiders. Wondering about Big JP. He is back into the game. One minute to play in the third quarter. Paragold up by 27. Maybe it's 17, 56 to 39. I believe that's 17. Forgive my bad arithmetic. That is not Jim McDaniel's fault. Traveling called against Paragould. Turnover, Raiders ball. 49 seconds remaining in the third quarter. You're back. Nettleton inbounds. Magnum B.A. Brandon Anderson across half court. Driving toward the rack, shoots and scores. Brandon Anderson makes it a 56 to 41 game. It's just a 15 point lead. It's just a five possession game, Raider fans. We're still in this thing. They whistle Pegram for the foul. 
That's the third personal against Jordan. Team foul number 10. So it'll be the double bonus. Ashton Oaks will be at the line and he will be shooting two. Makes the first free throw. And that makes it 57 to 41. 16 point lead for Perigold. Second free throw, no good. Deshaun Jackson with the rebound. Magnum B.A. Brandon Anderson. Baseball pass down to Curtis Smith. Curtis baseline drive feeds Deshaun Jackson. He misses the shot, but I believe he's fouled on the way up. It's going to be two shots for Deshaun. Actually, the foul is charged, offensive foul charged against Deshaun. Third personal, and it's going to be two shots for Perigold on the other end. Landon Manning will be the Ram who's taking the free throws. Jacob Linderman running the down camera for us tonight, and he's doing yeoman, yeoman's labor. We appreciate Jacob as Landon Manning misses his first free throw. We're having technical difficulties out the wazoo tonight. Uh, up camera is wanting to go out every other second, and I think we've got it back up. In the meantime, enjoy the down camera artistry of Jacob Linderman. Landon Manning at the line. His Rams up big, 57 to 41, 20 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Manning makes the second free throw. Nettleton with the ball, 18 seconds as Brandon Anderson gets it across half court. Anderson from three, no good. Battle for the rebound. Jackson got it for Nettleton, put it in, but there is a foul beforehand. Foul is charged against Nettleton's number 14. That is Jamari Thomas, first personal. And Nettleton is well into the double bonus, so it'll put number, I believe that's number 15, 15 on the line. Yeah, it's Nelson McCaney. He misses the first free throw. 11 seconds remaining in the third quarter. 58 to 41 is the score. Paragould with a 17 point lead. Fifty-nine to forty-one now. Nettleton, waning seconds of the third quarter. They missed the layup. Paragool with a rebound. Desperation heave from half court. No good. Storms just barely missed a half court shot. Your score at the end of the third quarter: fifty-nine to forty-one. Paragool back in sixty seconds with more Raider basketball on the EAB Sports Network. Network. Elite Eye Care, where your vision is our focus. And if you're having trouble with your vision or if your glasses or contacts need an upgrade, make it Elite Eye Care. Hey, it's Brandon Baxter for my personal eye doctors, Kate Wilson and Patrick Fowler at Elite Eye Care. They're local, they live here, and they give back to this community. And the team at Elite Eye Care treats all of their patients like family. On Windover and Jonesboro and West Kings Highway in Paragool. Schedule today at EliteEyeCareAndOptical.com or call 972-6040. Elite Eye Care, your vision is our focus. Get huge savings now at every Cavanaugh dealership. Cavanaugh has a great selection of late model, low mileage, certified pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs. And most are still under factory warranty. We have every make, every model, so you're sure to find the vehicle you want. And when you buy it, Cavanaugh, every new and used purchase comes with one year free maintenance. Plus, we buy cars. Bring a vehicle, get a check. Come see us today at one of our dealerships or go to CavanaughCars.com. And we welcome you back to Raider Basketball on the EAB Sports Network here in the fourth quarter of play. As the fourth quarter gets underway, the score is Paragol 59 and Nettleton 41. Nettleton to have the first possession of the fourth quarter. Jeremiah Turner with the ball. 
JT getting into Andre Davis. Andre spins, shoots, misses, and Landon Manning gets the rebound for Paragool. DeVault fakes a pass, gets it back out to Manning. Manning to Gavin Hall. Gavin Hall, left-hander, dribbles with his left hand, passes to Manning with his left hand, and Manning with a running layup. Nine points on the night for Landon Manning. No relation to Russ or Caleb. 7-17 to play. It's a 20-point Paragord lead, 61-41. to 41. Somewhere out there, Jeff Morton, Zach Morton, they're very happy. As their Rams putting it to my Raiders tonight. Three-point attempt by Curtis Smith is no good. Breakaway layup by number 33, Isaac Giles. Makes the score 63 to 41. Jeremiah drives and makes the layup, and he is fouled. So Jeremiah Turner will go to the line with the and one. He's got 14 points on the night, chance to make it 15. 6.48 to play in this game. The score is Paragold 63, Nettleton 43. JT makes the free throw. And it's 63 to 44. Nettleton takes a timeout. We'll take a timeout with them. 6.48 to play, 63 to 44. Paragold with the lead. Back in 60 seconds, some more Raider ba basketball on the EAB Sports Network. You've been told banks with branches don't have the digital capabilities you need. But why not have the best of both worlds? At First National Bank, we have all the online banking tools you could ever need. Plus, if you need something, we have real people in real places near you. Digital, with branches and real people. We know you can't be everywhere at once, but we can be anywhere you are. Check it, snap it, track it, pay it, move it, and ask it anywhere. First National Bank, putting you first, always. Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. Evolve Bank & Trust is your local source for home and business loans. Evolve Bank & Trust is making banking personal again with our friendly customer service and fast turnaround times. Your hometown bank for more than 90 years. Evolve Bank & Trust's dedicated staff can help you realize the dream of owning a home or help grow your small business with confidence. For more information, visit our office at 111 East Huntington, Suite A in Jonesboro, or call 870-933-2480. That's 870-933-2480. Or check us on at getevolved.com. Evolve Bank and Trust, equal housing lender. And we welcome you back to Raider Basketball on the EAB Sports Network. Paragould looking to sweep the Raiders. They won the girls' game. They're winning the boys' game big. 6.45 to play. They're up 63-44. to 44. They get it into Storms, and Storms with the three-footer. Seven points on the night. 65 to 44 now the score. Nettleton right back at it. And JT is fouled on the drive. Jamison DeVault picks up his second personal, fifth team foul. Correction, team foul number six. So Nettleton will inbound under their own goal. A lot of work to do. Long way to go. Short time to get there, just like Smokey and the Bandit. Trailing by 21, 6.22 to play. Curtis Smith from three, it's no good. Isaiah Jackson gets the rebound for Paragould, and here come the Rams. They ain't slowing down at all. Alley oop, Lyndon Manning misses the dunk. The alley was good, the oop lacked a little something. Three-pointer, JT, he misses it. Isaiah Jackson gets the rebound. Young man's got a double, got a double, double no doubt about it. Missed layup by Paragould, and here come the Raiders. Jamari Thompson. Now Braylon King has it to Curtis Smith. Curtis drives, shoots, misses, but's foul. So Curtis Smith will be going to the line, and he will be shooting two. Fouls charge against Landon Manning. Second personal, team foul number seven. Curtis makes his first free throw. Seven points on the night for Curtis. Second free throw is also good. Eight points for Curtis, and the score is now 65 to 46. By my arithmetic, that's a 19 point lead for Paragould. Like I said, they ain't slowing things down. Storms drives the rack, has a shot blocked by Deshaun Jackson. Here come the Raiders. Jeremiah Turner with a runner, it's good. 
And he's going to the line for the and one. Number 23, Landon Manning picks up his third personal foul, eighth team foul. And it puts JT at the line. JT makes the and one. 65 to 49. And I believe they're going to call Curtis Smith. They're calling Curtis Smith for the, the foul. It's just Curtis' first, but Nettleton's in the double bonus. So it's going to put Isaiah Jackson at the line. He's got 20 points already. And he'll be at the line shooting two for Paragool. 5.32 to play in this game. It's 65 to 49. Isaiah Jackson dribbles, eyes the rack, shoots, and makes the first free throw. 66 to 49. Second free throw on its way, and it's good. 22 points on the night for Isaiah Jackson. 67 to 49. Paragould up big in the fourth quarter. They get it into Deshaun Jackson. Loose ball goes to the Rams. Isaiah Jackson. Dribbles across half court. Loses control of the ball, and it's going to be a carry called on Isaiah Jackson before he turned it over. Nettleton gets the ball irregardless. Jamari Thomas into the game. He gives it to JT, Jeremiah Turner. Jeremiah Turner. All these Thomases around here. I started to call Jeremiah, Jeremiah Turner. Euro step by Jeremiah Turner. And he makes the basket. JT with 18 points on the night. Paragool takes a timeout. It's 5.05 to play in the game. We'll take a 60-second break. Paragool up 67-51. 5.05 remaining. Back in 60 seconds. More Raider basketball on the EAB Sports Network. No matter what the season, it's always a great time to go to Wings to Go. Whether it's football, whether it's basketball, whether it's baseball, whether it's wrestling, whether it's anything, the wings, the paninis, the salads, the hamburgers, everything they have at Wings to Go is always flavorful and it's always ready. All that has to happen is you come down and enjoy them. Happy holidays from Wings to Go. See Placid Tire Service for the right tire at the right price right now. Placid Tire Service is the area's biggest selection of in-stock tires at the lowest price. While others are searching for tires to order, we'll get you fixed up with a great set of tires and back on the road in no time with our four tires, one hour guarantee. Plus, we make the purchase easy on your budget with our Placid Tire Service card or no credit needed financing options. For the right tire at the right price right now, the choice is easy. That's Placid Tire Service. And we welcome you back to Raider Basketball on NTV and the EAB Sports Network. If I sound out of breath, it's because I am. Five minutes remaining in the game. Perigold up 67-51. Had a camera go out on us up here on the live stream. And, and the, during the break, I changed it out. So hopefully you get a good view of the rest of the way. Oaks misses a three-pointer. Nettleton gets the rebound. Raiders playing with great urgency. 444 in this game, a lot of ground to make up. Three-point attempt, no good by the Raiders. Curtis Smith, Isaiah Jackson with the rebound. And Jackson quickly across the timeline. You'd think Perigol would be slowing it down, but they have not. It's been all gas, no brakes the whole way for these Rams. Landon Manning drives and shoots and scores. That's a good player. He's got 11 points for Perigol. 69 to 51. Ball goes out of bounds. I believe it was off of Paragould, and so Nettleton will inbound under their own goal. 4-10 to play. Raiders down by 18. Curtis inbounds to Deshaun Jackson. Deshaun drives the paint, shoots, and scores. Deshaun Jackson for the Raiders, makes it 69 to 53. Paragould's Devault across half court to Gavin Hall. Spin pass to Jackson. 
Now Scotty Storms back out to Hall. Now maybe Paragould will apply the brakes a little bit. As they, with 3.48 to play in this game, they have a 69 to 53 lead. They inbound to the backcourt to Oaks. Oaks gets it to Storms and the referee blows the whistle. Not sure exactly why. Don't know what happened there, but I do know Paragould's inbounding. So they get it to Jackson. Jackson underneath, and they pass right to him under the basket. And Jackson's got 24 points on the night, 71 to 53. Paragould winning big. Curtis to Brendan Alexander, nifty spin move, trying to get it to Deshaun, here come the Rams, fast break layup is good by Gavin Hall. He's got nine points on the night, 73 to 53, the Rams up 20. Jeremiah Turner gets it to Deshaun Jackson, Deshaun Jackson puts the ball in the peach basket. 73 to 55, Paragould up, DeVault, Dribbling around, killing time, passes in to Hall, to Jackson. Jackson with a layup, as the great Buddy Nichols would say. Kind of a modified slam dunk, but I'll call it a layup. Now is going to be empty in their bench. 2.45 to play. They're up by 20, which is bad news for the TMC because I don't know if I know who these guys are. Jeremiah Turner drives in. He sinks the layup. He's fouled. He'll be going to the line for the and one. Foul is charged against, against number four, Isaiah Jackson. Just his second personal team foul, number nine, to put JT at the line. And a lot of the starters going out now for Paragould. And Jeremiah Turner makes the and one. That makes the score 75 to 58. Isaiah Jackson driving against Jordan Pegram, and he's fouled. So Jordan Pegram picks up his fourth foul, and it's going to send Isaiah Jackson to the line, shooting two. First free throw from Isaiah is no good. Isaiah Jackson, second free throw up, and he misses. Legs are tired, missed a free throw short. 75 to 58, Paragold up with 2.20 to play in this game. They get it into Deshaun Jackson, and Deshaun sinks the basket. The Raiders ain't going anywhere, folks. They're getting beat bad, but they're still battling. 60-second timeout called by Bubba Deaton. Correction, 30-second timeout. So we'll take a 30-second break. Back in 30 seconds with more Raider basketball on the EB Sports Network. Paragold up 75-60. 60. 60. You're listening to the Nettleton Raiders on 94.1 KIYS HD2, Walnut Ridge, Jonesboro. You raised your family here. Did every July 4th here refinish the floors here twice? Sized up your daughter's boyfriends here? Waited in the doorway all day when your son was coming home on leave. This place has given you all you've dreamed of, and now it's giving again in the form of a gourmet kitchen and the quietest dishwasher known to man. Realize your dream with a home equity line of credit from Simmons Bank. Dreams realized. SimmonsBank.com. Member FDIC, equal housing lender, subject to credit approval. 2.20 to play in this game, and Paragold leads 75-60. to 60. They have led the whole way, and they have come in and just put a beat down on our Raiders tonight, folks. Hats off to the Rams. Inbound pass, and they called a foul on Jeremiah Turner. That's his fourth personal, and... Nettleton's in the double bonus, so Perigold will be at the line shooting two. Perigold with a 15-point lead, 219 to play. Number 13 at the line. That is Caden Dilport. He 
He makes the first free throw. Makes the second free throw. 77 to 60 after a couple of Dillport free throws. Jeremiah Turner passes to Magnum B.A. Brandon Anderson from three. It's no good. Battle for the rebound, and Paragould has it. Loose ball. Gavin Hall comes up with it. And here come the Rams. Gavin Hall passes to the left wing. Now then they're working it around the perimeter. Scotty Storms, he's going to drive to the rack. He's fouled by Deshaun Jackson. So Storms will be at the line shooting two. I say Storms, actually it was number 33, Isaac Giles. He's not shooting two. I guess it was, I'm not sure what the deal is there. Anyway, Paragould inbounds and foul charge on Nettleton's Antoine Edmond. First personal against Antoine and it'll put number 15 at the line. That's Nelson McCainy. First free throw by McCainy is good. Maybe it's Caden Calhoun instead of Caden Dillport. I do not know. In any event, number 15 misses the second free throw. 150 to play. It's 78 to 50. Deshaun Jackson to Jeremiah Turner. Jeremiah at the top of the key drives, shoots, has a shot blocked. Court Darius Thompson into the game for Nettleton. He gets the, the blocked shot, goes back up with it, and he's fouled. Isaac Giles, third personal. Team foul number 10, and it'll send Cordarius Thompson to the line. Cordarius will be shooting two. Misses the first free throw. Second free throw coming up. Second free throw by Thompson is good. And Paragould now with a 78-61 lead, 134 to play. Number 13, Euro step, and the layup is good. Bryce Bass. Brandon Anderson misses a three. Paragool gets the rebound. 1.14 to play. Cordarius Thompson steals the ball. Thompson shoots and scores. Good play by Cordarius Thompson. Three points on the night for Cordarius. Just over a minute to play in this Paragool route. Three-point attempt no good for the Rams. Deshaun Jackson battling for the rebound. It goes to Jeremiah Turner. Jeremiah drives the paint, shoots, and scores. So JT still battling, even though the Raiders are down by 15 with 48 seconds to go. Jeremiah Turner, he's giving it everything that he's got. He's coming out of the game. Number 21 into the game for Nettleton. That's Will Blackwood. Paragould across half court. Darius Thompson. I tell you, Darius is playing with a lot of fire out there. He's seen his... By my remembrance, this is the first varsity action that Cordarius has got this season. He's making the most of it. He is really playing hard, playing good defense here and what some might consider to be garbage time. 39 seconds remaining in the game. Paragold up by 15, 80 to 65 the score. Paragold inbounds. They're still attacking the rack. Have the shot blocked. Shot blocked by the Raiders. That's Terry. Terry Scott. Put it in reverse, Terry. They get it to Nettleton's number 14. That's Jamari Thomas. Spin move. Misses the shot, but he's fouled. Nelson McCaney guilty of the foul, and it's going to put Jamari at the line, and he's going to be shooting two. Makes the first free throw. Second free throw coming up. It's 80 to 66. Paragould with a 14 point lead with 24 seconds to play. Jamari's second free throw, it's good. Something tells me Coach Thomas has been working with Jamari on his free throws ever since he was a little guy. 
Perigold across the half court line. They're working it around the arc, 15 seconds. And they just passing it back and forth on the oval end. Nettleton continuing to play defense. Eight seconds, and the ball goes out of bounds as, per as Darius Thompson applying some pressure over there. Six seconds remaining in this game. It's 80 to 67. They get it in, and five seconds on the clock, and Paragould will just dribble it out. Might have been a foul there. The referees wisely did not call it. 80 to 67, the final. Paragould wins. Back in five minutes with the Real Estate Nate postgame show. Give me a five-minute break. We'll tabulate this mess, and we'll have the postgame show when we come back. Raider basketball on the EAB Sports Network. Back in five. Five. Trust your heart to better care at NEA Baptist. Better access means communication with your award-winning cardiac team anytime, anywhere with the MyChart app. Better technology means leading the state with new treatments and interventions right here in Jonesboro. Better is an integrated team of experts at your service when seconds matter. Your heart deserves better. Find it at NEA Baptist. This is Keith Bear with Baird Auto Group. There's nothing that brings our community together like high school sports. No matter what the scoreboard says, it's a winning feeling just to be a part of it. At Baird, we want you to have the feeling anytime you come into one of our dealerships. Good credit, bad credit, no credit, no problem. Don't buy anywhere else until you shop at Baird location near you. Don't get a bad deal, get a Baird deal. Because why pay more? Saving service, great selection too. You're looking for some land you'd like to populate. All real estate, real estate, real estate dates. Listen, we all know the real estate market's crazy right now, so whether you're buying or selling, you deserve maximum value. You want real market knowledge. You want real negotiating power. You want real results. You need real estate Nate. Give me a call. I got you back. Call Real Estate, Real Estate, Real Estate Nate. Call today. Real Estate Nate with Halsey Thrasher Harpole Real Estate Group. 870-261-3927. For me, rice farming isn't profession. It's been my life for more than 30 years. And as owner of Dela Plains Seed, I've been the region's rice tech leader for more than a decade. Every planting season, I'm in the fields right along with you, and we're figuring out how to make sure bushels mean dollars together. From selecting your hybrid rice to free on-farm delivery and one-on-one -on -one consultation, I'd like to help your rice fields see more profit this season. I'm Terry Gray at Dela Plains Seed. Call me today at 870-249-3447. Let's talk about your best rice options. What does better mean to you? Maybe it's better services, better support, better ways to build a life or buy a home or run a business. First Security is your partner for it all, with resources and solutions that make a difference for you and others. That's because First Security takes care of customers while building communities. Better for you, better for Arkansas, better for all. First Security, bank better. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Domino's Pizza is hiring. Work in a fun, fast-paced environment with Domino's. Do you have solid math skills, sound judgment, and the ability to multitask? You want to be the boss? Domino's Pizza is needing an assistant manager. Domino's is also hiring for delivery drivers with fun and flexible hours and a great schedule that will fit what you're looking for. And take home cash every night. Domino's needs customer service representatives, too. Apply now at jobs.dominoes.com. That's jobs.dominoes.com. Domino's Pizza is an equal opportunity. Employer. Ship anything anywhere at your number one shipping source, Pack Mail in Jonesboro. Bring anything to Pack Mail and they'll pack it, ship it, crate it, freight it, no matter how big, fragile, or awkwardly shaped. Since 1998, Pack Mail has been your number one shipping source, the only authorized shipper of all the major carriers UPS, FedEx, DHL, the Postal Service, and freight services all in one store. At Pack Mail, you have choices. Here's Pack Mail Tim to tell us more. Trey, we are the experts at finding solutions for even the most demanding shipping situations and our experienced staff can help you choose the best option so if you need to go to the post office then fedex or all the way out to ups terminal and then get that international shipment to dhl you can do it all in one fast convenient and friendly place pack mail see i told you pack mail ships anything anywhere through any shipper pack mail voted the number one printing packaging and shipping store in jonesboro don't trust your shipping needs to just anybody trust pack mail 361 southwest drive in jonesboro ship anything anywhere today at 
pack mail. Attention members and guests. J-Town's Grill is once again a proud supporter of the A-State Red Wolves. Make J-Town's Grill your after-game destination to celebrate another Red Wolves victory. And don't forget to come back for Sunday brunch and catch the NFL games on the big screens at J-Town's. Everything from appetizers, salads and sandwiches, to burgers and wraps, all at J-Town's Grill. With indoor and outdoor seating and live music. J-Town's Grill on Johnson right across from Centennial Bank Stadium. Check out their menu at jtownsgrill.com and like them on Facebook. Demo Smokehouse Barbecue on Johnson at Hilltop and on Main Street across from Jonesboro High School. Now, I'm from Memphis and I know barbecue, but there are people from Memphis that travel to Jonesboro to sample, taste, and enjoy Demo's Barbecue. No kidding. They come from Memphis, so no need to go anywhere else. Right here, the best barbecue is at Demo's. Any of the ribs, any of the plates, you can enjoy it all at Demo's Smokehouse Barbecue. My mouth is water. We welcome you to the post-game show. Mama said there'd be days like these, Raider Nation. And whew, it was not a good night here at Raider GM as Perigo comes in and sweeps us. They defeat the Lady Raiders in the first game, and they just defeated the Raiders by the score of 80 to 67. And we welcome you to a dismal post-game show brought to you by a great guy, though, real estate Nate. That's Nate Lipsky. Real Estate Nate, if you're looking to buy or sell a home, call Nate Lipsky. Real Estate Nate at 261-3927. He brings you the postgame show. It was all Paragool tonight. Paragool just came in and punched us in the mouth, metaphorically speaking, and they had the pedal to the metal the whole way. Uh, outscored us 23-17 to in the first quarter. Outscored us 23-12 to in the second quarter. They went into the break leading 46-29. to They didn't let up really in the second half. They outscored us 13-12 to in the third quarter. We got them 26-21 to in the fourth quarter, but by the end it was too little too late. They wound up winning by 13, 80 to 67 in a game that really wasn't as close as the scoreboard might indicate. Paragould led throughout, and hats off to them. They come in and get a big win. Uh, Paragould advanced. They uh, improved to 12 and 12 on the season, 3 and 8 in conference. Nettleton falls to 16 and 10, 4 and 7, and tonight's loss really hurts our chances at making the state tournament. Still not out of it yet. I'm going to have to go figure out all the mathematics and everything. But with Jonesboro coming up, uh, it's going to be a it's going to be a tough road. It's going to be a tough road for the rest of the way for the Raiders for sure. But we'll worry about that tomorrow. Uh, tonight, congratulations to the Rams on a, a big victory. The uh, JOSM player of the game is Jeremiah Turner. He scored 25 points by my count. 25 points, and he is the JOSM player of the game. Great job by Jeremiah. And a losing effort, Jeremiah never quit. And he that shows an awful lot of intestinal fortitude. Jeremiah Turner, your Jonesboro Orthopedics Sports Medicine player of the game. Jonesboro Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, they've been getting you back in the game for more than 40 years. So, no joy in Nettleton tonight as Perigold comes in and gets the sweep. The girls and the guys both with big wins over the Raiders. We'll do it again Friday night as we welcome Batesville, the Pioneers, for senior night. And we'll be bringing you the game here on Bob FM, 80s, 90s, whatever, Raider basketball on Bob FM, and also on the NTV Sports Network. Many thanks to our great sponsors, Domino's Pizza, JOSM, uh, St. Bernard's, um, NEA Baptist, First National Bank, Real Estate, Nate, uh, Domino's Pizza, Kavanaugh Auto Group, and many thanks to the people who helped make it happen. Running the cameras tonight, Jacob Linderman and Lindsey Miller uh, directing Tony Williams. Um, want to say a shout out to Ryan James, the producer back in the EAB studios. Appreciate his great work. And for all of us here at Nettleton, want you to have a great night. Congratulations to the Rams on the big win. And win or lose, as always, Raider Pride is justified. Raider Pride forever. We'll see you Friday night, folks. You've been listening to Nettleton Raider Basketball on 94-1 Bob FM. Presented by NEA Baptist First National Bank.